There you go. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I thought I'd do a Monday morning live. Um, I thought one guy did like a ranking that one movie review guy did a ranking of the Robocop movies. And I thought, man, I'd just start off with doing that. Um, I've seen all four of them. I saw the first one in um, Fort Gordon, Georgia. I'm a big fan of it. Kind of like the whole robot aspect of it. And I remember seeing, I think when I was home, um, I didn't know there was a second second one came out. I think when I was home. I can't remember if when I was home from Fort Bragg or something like that. And then my dad rented it. And I watched it. I, you know, I saw that. And then I know that the company that made it, Orion, right, was on the verb, verge of bankruptcy and stuff. And I know they had a, they came with a Robocop 3. They made a PG-13 rated. And it didn't do very well, they said. And then I know um, from Gorgas that, that uh, Richard Sullivan said, like, uh, welcome to Chapter 11, boys. But I think, I think um, MGM bought up uh, Orion. And then you still see, like, Orion come out with stuff like the Belcourt Experiment, which I love that movie. And then uh, in 2014, they had the remake of RoboCop. I remember seeing it watching it on Netflix with my dad. And Michael Keaton was in that one. So like I said, the guy uh, did a ranking of the of the four from worst to best. So, I mean, I could do that too, I guess. Um, Pretty much tied for third place. I mean, the worst was uh, RoboCop 3 and also the remake. The remake had a more polished look to it, but I don't think it had like same spirit as the original RoboCop did. I don't think it was as interesting, right? Whereas RoboCop 3, it was like talking about like a resistance, like you always do. They did that in like uh, Terminator Salvation. Like, a bunch of guys resisted. I mean, and, uh, I think it's been done so much, overdone. overdone. And it's like, they well, they went for a PG-13 aspect of it. Um, it just wasn't as good. But I mean, there was, it had some moments in it. It has moments that, I mean, at least it was, I don't know. It was okay. I didn't love it, though. So it's like, I don't know, really close uh, for which one was the remake or uh, RoboCop 3. Now, RoboCop 2 was coming in uh, is next. And that one, I loved RoboCop 2. I even liked that, maybe. You know, it, may, it was really exciting, though. The effects held up. Some people hated RoboCop 2. They said it was too violent. I thought the RoboCop movie was supposed to be violent. I know Paul Verhoeven directed um, the first one. And then he directed like Total Recall. And then I think he went, to, he ended up doing Showgirls, which I don't know, which was infamous, but not famous. Um, which it wasn't an action movie either. Um, but I mean, uh, Ro I thought RoboCop 2 was great. I know Cisco and he was mad because there was like a little kid in there to curse and the stuff, just like that. Um, oh, that girl that was in Halloween, the Halloween movies. Um, in the last Boy Scout Christmas, too. You know. And uh, so that's second place. And first place is the first very first Robocop. I like the satirical humor. I like the commercial. Um, the commercial uh, <laughs> spoofs, too, that they did in the movie. It's all, I mean, the first one's a lot of fun. Same with the second one. I mean, I mean I'll buy that for a dollar. I remember they repeated that on uh, Smash TV, the video game. So, I don't know. I thought they all held up together well. So, I mean, ranking for worst and best is probably like like a cross between a remake and a third one. And then we have Robocop 2, and then we have the first Robocop. So, just chilling out now. I thought I'd just do a little thing about that. Let's see if anyone wanted to chat. We had a good... Uh, Yesterday, we had a couple of really good live streams, though. Even though it was Easter weekend, you know, I thought it was good. I had some guests up, and it was it was fun. I enjoyed it. Hmm. I'm so tired. I should probably catch up on sleep. May I want a little bit. I don't believe that sleep is overrated now. You need sleep. 
he definitely needs sleep. Definitely need to have a good time. Definitely need to uh, not worry about stuff. You know, I don't like, I hate worrying about stuff. You know, it's just the way it is, I guess. You know, and just try to do a good job. Uh, like right now, I almost dozed off again. And I'm just relaxed doing this. I'm too relaxed. You know, I dozed off. I ain't dozed off on turtle does when Herb like you up there. Just, I felt that relaxed um, in her room. You know, that's kind of funny. And the black you and they were both they were both laughing. But that happens. You know, you do fall asleep. I just like taking it slow, you know, being a good person, doing the best you can do, getting back in the grind again, you know, it's just the way it is. Oh, and happy April Fool's Day, too. Happy April Fool's Day. I almost forgot about that. I saw, I mean, it's weird about the movie April Fool's Day. I've seen that movie a few times. And it seems like I never watched it in the first place. And it's not, um, it's a good movie, but it's just not very memorable. I know they did a remake of it. I don't know if the remake of April Fool's Day is any good. I mean, I'm not going to kill myself to watch it. I don't know. I mean, well, let's look up on IMDb. I mean, the first April Fool's Day, I thought was, I mean, it took a different approach to stuff. Um, it was just different. But I don't, I mean, I've seen it, I just don't remember it, though. You know, I've seen it a few times. It's just like, one of those movies that just don't stick in your memory, though. Even though you know you saw it, I've seen it. I've seen it a few times. Uh, let's see, check out how, okay, um, did a remake. I don't know when they did a remake of April Fool's Day. I want to check out IMDb real quick. Yeah, let's see what's going on there. And I'm not gonna put it up on thing. IMDB, okay. IMDB, okay, let's click on that. Okay. And then we'll see what's better, prom night or prom night two. Okay, I really I thought prom night was boring. I like the second one better. Or, or the remake is better than the first prom night. Okay, the re remake, which is 5.3. Okay. And we get to the bottom one, the other remake of it. Oh. I say, oh, hello, Mary Lou. Prom Night 2 got five points. I like that one. I remember seeing Prom Night 3, The Last Kiss. I remember seeing the other two back to back. It was all right. I want to see if the Prom Night remake is, is all right. Oh, shit. But I got 3.9? Really? I liked how the last act of, uh, I mean, some people probably think like Blasphemous. Not like the original one, but I didn't think the original one really was that good. And they get 3.9 to remake. I thought the remake was so so. Then the last half hour was really good. You know, let's see what they think about April Fool's Day. It says April Fool's Day now. And the remake. Okay, Evil Fool say the original one, and then Deborah Foreman, and then the 2008 remake. Okay, let's see. The original one has a uh, 6.1, because it was, it was good, it was different. I just don't remember it that well, you know? Go back to the other one. Okay, let's see. It's April...
What was that? What? Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, John messed with me. Yeah. I just had it, though. I had put the apostrophe in there. Okay, the remake. 3.7. I don't know if the remake's any good or not. Oh, well. Let's go back to see if we're coming. Hey, what's up, the Salt and Victors? How you doing, buddy? What's up, buddy? How you been? How you doing, Son of Victus? You seen dogs? Cool. It's starting to drift off again. I don't know what it is with me. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I'm supposed to be going back to work tomorrow. So I got the cough. That's the only thing that that's bothering me, you know, right now. And I probably need to get some more sleep. And everything's getting better. It's just, it just, it just started out so horrible. So, I mean, ever since, you know, that um, one doctor's appointment led to uh, the hospital. And um, had the problems with, you know, I don't know. I'm going back to work tomorrow, so. I would think it'd be back to normal. I mean, it'd be a little bit rough, but you know, I would think it'd be back to normal. You know, all, all, you only really wish for the best. You only wish for the best. So, and so I just wait until I felt better. But 100, percent I'm just about about as close as I'm going to get, probably. You know, my shoulder doesn't hurt no more. I hurt my shoulder. My left, my sister doesn't hurt no more. Probably my legs. You know, all this other stuff, you know. Has had a lot of problems.
That's all the song. I, I I appreciate you guys. I'm so incredibly happy to have you guys for friends and stuff. That's why why I did the lives I did yesterday. You know, it's lonely. I need to get back on the horse again and keep going and keep going on and going hard and stuff. You know, it's how to do it. You know, play guitar on MTV. I'm happy with you guys. Have my situation, you know. And I kind of hear you there. Um, just have to keep going through it, motoring through it, you know. That's all. But hopefully everything should be done now to solve it. I, I'm hoping. Actually, we got some people now. Yeah. I have a, a little cough, but that's about it. I'll be okay. I got to maybe get some more sleep. Try to sleep real good tonight. Like 10 hour days, but I, I, think, I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it. You know. I'm happy. I'm going to try to be happy. And I should go back to sleep, but I don't know. I thought I'd do a rank of the Robocop movies too. <laughs> got six people now, that's cool. And it's free to comment if you want. And got my buddy that's on the Victus. I mean I, I really thank you for being around as long as you have, buddy. You know. It's you know, could you see people you known the whole time on YouTube as subs and stuff like that? And it's always like reassuring that they're still there for me. You know. And I I greatly appreciate it. You're a good guy to sign the Victus, buddy. It says summer 2013. That was a long time ago, man. I mean, because you look like, uh, as far as people I know I met, there's people I met before my dad passed away and the people I met after, you know. Yeah, that was a big uh, blow when my dad passed away. He was. But I'm happy. I'm happy for all of you. You go, good people. They had, they had a lot of thing about Don't Go in the House. I love that movie. But I was saying Don't Go in the House was really mean. It was mean, but I still liked it, though. Hmm. I haven't done any new video. I did. I put up the video, my uh, main video, up at 8 o'clock today, but I haven't done any other videos. Journal, yeah. We're down ten years back. And while I got a friend I've seen no mostly online for twenty years since now. Does John want to hang out? I know you talked about that one sauce. I can't remember what it's called. Yesterday. No, well, I got a friend I've known. 
Live, what's Live Journal? What the heck is Live Journal? I never heard of Live Journal before. It's all Invictus. I ne like I'd never heard of that before. I mean, because I don't want. They said YouTube's going away. The I hope not. YouTube is great. I love YouTube. I like just being myself and being nice and kind. You know. What's live journal? And like I said, like there's some things that went away, like Periscope. I don't know if that's still around. Ah, uh, because I, I know people did. I never did any videos on Periscope. I know Ian tried some stuff on it, and then I kind of like, I don't know, Periscope's still around, you know, you know, Facebook lives. I mean, I, yeah, if I do a live, I'd rather just do it here. I mean, Facebook lives are okay, but I'd rather do it here. I have bigger, I'm subject to a bigger audience, you know. That's, I mean, YouTube is like my main thing for me. They're talking about like trying TikTok and all that stuff. It's like, man, I don't know. I want to start over again. I have a TikTok account. I can't get it back into it. I put up like a few videos and stuff, and that was about it. Yeah, like 20 videos maybe on there. They're okay. I'm not really well versed in uh The pla oh, the platform, you know. But I mean, you said that. Um, I what is Live Journal? I don't, let me look it up. Let's see if I can find it. I know they had something like uh, what was it? They had chat roulette, and yeah, that was weird. I saw a movie of the Den a long time ago. Live Journal. Oh, it's still around. Social networking. Uh, oh, can discover global communities, communities of bloggers who show say Okay. That's neat. Let me check my uh, analytics. But like I said, oh, I didn't get rid of that. Uh, oh, I didn't customize it. Yeah, maybe I still customize this way. Let me check something out. Let me see something. See if I can get that. I can do that live, getting rid of live reactions. Uh, let's go back to here. Video, okay. Go back to channel content. Okay, lives. I wonder if I can do that now. Okay, hit this. What if I hit that right here? Okay, customization. I can get rid I can do it now? Okay, let's see if we have okay. Really? Oh, cool. Now, I think I think I was able to get rid of that now. Okay. Now let me check on here. It's all about experimentation, you know, and testing stuff out. Yeah, let's check on YouTube side. Because I always go to just, I stay on stream yards. Try to have more control over there. Now I gotta wait for the dang chat to pump back up. But that's cool. That's cool. It's gone. Awesome. Put high right here. I got. I got to do a customize and get rid of live reactions. Uh, if you want to get rid of that annoying heart thing, I uh, just click on this video and go to customization, and then it has like uh, live reaction. Just 
cancel that. I mean, I don't, the heart would be okay, but it's just uh, in the middle of, I mean, I don't like the location. It's blocking off the very last comment, you know, and you don't know what someone's saying or else someone's you know, being inappropriate. Uh, you can't get past the heart to either time out or whatever, whatever, whatever you want to do, you know. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I really care about you guys. Hmm. I say, I gave, well, I, that's my fault. A lot of times I don't give a uh, proper notice, you know, before I'm doing a live stream. That's on me. And it's on me a lot of times too. But in the morning, morning live and ranking the RoboCop movies, I said uh, at last said RoboCop three, then really close to that the remake, and then RoboCop two, which I love. And, I mean, it's pretty much interwoven with, with part one. I'll say part one's the best one, even though I really like part two a lot. I love part two. Hey, Corey. You want to come up, honey? We can talk. Are you talking? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I talk, I'm talking talk to my kids. Oh, I get it. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Carrie. Not Corey, Carrie. Jesus. I'm sorry. You're so sweet, Carrie. Talking to my kids, but I give you. Oh, thank you, honey. You're so nice and kind. I said, Corey, I might carry. I'm thinking I'm still not. <laughs> Probably need to get some more sleep. But, I mean, you know, it's the way it goes. Yeah. Give me just a Okay, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Okay. That'd be great. Aw, you're sweet too, honey. You're sweet too. Aw, you're so sweet too. I love talking to you. Oh, well, you are too, Corey. Carrie. It's Carrie, not Corey. God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Very nice person to have on the panel. Very soothing, relaxing voice. And like I said, I got you got a ranking of the Robocop movies from worst to best. You know. I mean, I still, I thought, I mean, there's still parts of... Uh, RoboCop 3, I, I liked, you know, but for most part, I was like, yeah. I probably, I mean, cause I know my dad, it was, they played on, um, when we had Plex, they played on Plex all the time because it's PG-13. It's a RoboCop movie, you know. I remember dad watched it a few times on there. I said, I saw on cable. I, I wanted to see it in the theaters. I'm glad, kind of glad I didn't. This wasn't even careful. But there's moments in that movie that are good. It's not all bad. There's moments that are good in that. You know, it's not. All bad, but that's when I was like Orion was having incredible financial problems, you know. I remember, I, well, I never knew they were having problems because I mean, they had that Silence of the Lambs mega monstrous hit when Academy Awards, you know, and uh, they want to do Adam's family, right? And I remember, I'll never forget this because I remember I was in the army, um, right before I went to Fort, uh, I got sent to Fort uh, Detroit, Maryland. There was a thing where, like, they, they, the budget got so big they couldn't afford to do it, so they had to sell it to Paramount. Because it was supposed to be a Ryan that was supposed to be uh, do the uh, original uh, Adams Family movie, you know? And then I remember it came out, and I remember leaving uh, when I got out of the Army. I remember seeing what, it was my dad. When we used to go to the movies all the time, they had the, the one theater real next spot uh, close by um, Village Cinema. And then I know we saw two movies back to back. We saw, I think we saw Adam's Family first, then we saw uh, Cape Fear. 
I think that was the last time we ever did that, though. Because that night we watched movies back to back whenever um, I was out of Germany. We saw uh, Die Hard 2, and then we went to see Ford Fairlane. And we, and we hadn't done that in a long time, doing movies back to back. And there was a couple of times doing that um, while at the Village Cinema. And we did that at um, at the Doll Theater. Because I'd never seen, like, one time I saw uh, The Rock. I told my dad how good it was. And I asked my dad if it was good. He said, that was the dumbest thing he ever saw in his life. I love The Rock. Yeah, that was with Nicolas Cage and Sean Patton. And then I saw um, Dark City. I think my dad saw Sphere. Yeah. I mean, we usually, I mean, that's back when we used to go to movies a lot. We started going to Tilton Town, you know, Tilton Town was really fun. I remember waiting in line to see Men in Black, I mean, or Independence Day. We would never do that now, but we did at the time. We're seeing Godzilla long line out, out the butt, you know. And then I think, I mean, we started, my dad said someone hit the, uh, well, the Villa Cinema closed down. That was a big thing. And going to Erie, I know my dad said when he had a van at the time, someone said someone hit the van or something like that. So that was kind of like the end of going to the movies. Oh, we saw, we did see, um, that one see Mighty Joe Young. So we saw a sneak peek of it. And you, I mean, for the money, you, you spent the money to see that. And then you, uh, they had a Bugs Life after that. And then, because that was a Disney movie, Mighty Joe Young, the Disney. Re that was a good remake, by the way. No one remembers that movie, but that was actually a good remake. I remember the original. But my dad loved the original one with uh, Ray Howard, Harryhausen doing the effects. And it took me forever. I finally saw that movie. But my dad always talked about Mighty Joe Young. He didn't talk about the other movies. <coughs> he remember, Mighty Joe Young, and it came from beneath the sea. They came from beneath the sea. They used to show all the time on um, the ABC affiliate. Because they, they, I mean, because they would, that's back when TV stage used to play like the old movies and stuff. They don't do that anymore. I mean, they'll have they'll play movies and stuff, but it's not like they have like the old movies queued up. They play on like a film projector, you know, the quality is somewhat questionable. They don't do that anymore. Well, I know WB would like play movies late at night. That's why I saw Cooley High, which was the inspiration for the show. What's happening? That wasn't a bad show either. But that was more serious. So I wasn't really. That much of a comedy, though. I mean, then, like, what's happening with straight-up comedy? Just like um, Martin Scorsese did the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, right? With Ellen Barkin. And I always wanted to see that movie, and I heard that was the inspiration for Alice. And I didn't know that to show Alice. I was a big fan of Alice. Alice was straight-up comedy, though. I mean, they had, like, little bits. Um, whenever you at the beginning of the movie, whenever you saw, like, little bits on film shot with them driving and stuff, that was from the Martin Scorsese movie. But I didn't know that was a real movie he did in 74, and that became the hit show Alice. But like I said, Alice was straight up comedy. Like, there was a lot of, there was some comedy in Alice, Lynn, but not that much. It was mostly drama. And I know, um, let me see, Alice doesn't live here anymore. Let's see if the TV show, the TV show Alice rates on uh, IMDb. I really don't like the new step IMDb at all. Let's see, Alice TV show. Uh, how so really? Well, how about Alice doesn't live here anymore? Okay, Alice doesn't live here anymore. Okay, okay, Alice doesn't wait a second. Live uh, 1974, Alan and Chris Christopherson at 7.3 based on the show as became the show Alice. Like you had, they had um, Alan Burston. Uh, let me try to think. They had, oh, they don't have anybody. See all cast and crew. Mel's Diner. Harvey Keitel. Yeah, Diane, Diane Ladd was in there. Diane Ladd came back on the show. She was uh, the last. After Flo left, she became the other Flo. Vic Tabak, yep. Was that the same Valley Curtain and the other Vera movie? I'm not sure. Oh. No, it was a different Vera, but I mean, um, 
The one girl, the uh, the one girl that was on um, that replaced her, uh, replaced Flo was originally an original um, uh, Mel's uh, in the original movie that played Flo. But Penny Holiday, yeah. Hey, everybody, how you, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, Random? How you doing? I should probably go back to bed, but I'll stay up a little bit. I get my sleep schedule back to where it was, used to be, you know? <coughs> I just woke up like a bit a bit ago. Yeah, I was having trouble sleeping and stuff. A lot of stuff on my mind. Now it's, my mind is at ease. I just have to prove myself tomorrow, you know, just do a good job. I'm back. Oh, hi. Yay. Hi. You see the linky? Here. Hold on. Let me hit it again. I'm going back to work tomorrow. I was off because I was sick. I got, well, I got laid off, and then I came back for a little bit, and I was sick. I got sick. I've been off for a couple months. Uh, I was supposed to go back tomorrow, so wish me luck. So, hopefully, things will be back to normal. Do the best I can. Don't do too crazy. <coughs> Hi, honey. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Supposed to be going back to work tomorrow, so that's good. What are you going to do? Well, I mean, I was laid off for a while, and then I got sick, you know, with the hospital stuff, too. So that kind of put a key. About that. Yeah, I had, like, I went to the hospital, and, like, my blood pressure, like, it could get my blood pressure at the VA. I almost passed out. And they took wow. me there, and they, my blood pressure was, like, 60 over 30. And I'm trying to figure out why. And they said it might have been because it was I had a kidney. I blocked my kidney stone, my kidney. And I had surgery to remove that, and I just had to get just get better. So hopefully tomorrow work won't be too bad. I got back in the thing, the swing of things. It's going to be a ten hour day, so let's do the best I can. Starting off. Yeah. Well, that's what I was doing before ten hour days. Well, no, I was doing eight hour days. I mean, I was doing ten hour days, and coming back, I was like more eight hour days. It's sometimes the ten hour days, but I know going back to ten hour days again. So, if they give you a full hour lunch break and then at least two fifteen minute breaks, I don't know what you do for a job, but it might be doable. But yeah, that's kind of hard to put you back into that. Yeah, well, I'll try my best. Having surgery. Well, I mean, the surgery was like about a month ago. It was like it was like for remove a kidney stone. But don't it's they go about, through your back to do that? Yeah, they go through. Uh, up uh, the thing and then you know to get the kidney stone yeah but yeah that's uh this is uh carrie bean on panel random yeah oh. but we'll see i mean see what's going on i gotta i gotta go back to hi random yeah you gotta go back to get back in the swing of things though you know so I'll just see how things go and yeah maybe everything will go just great i hope so sometimes god I... provides like that you know yeah i know i mean just like I have to get back in the swing of things, you know. You know, that's all. I've been out of it for like a little over two months. Cause, I mean, they called me back and I, I didn't feel good. And I went to the hospital and they, I went to the VA the next day and they yeah, they rushed me. I ended up going to Hammett. And then, uh, you know, I was offered and then they were going to call me back. I had pink eye. And then I went to get checked up again to VA, and I, that's when I got faint. I passed out almost. That's why they took me to the hospital. And then they finally I had a, that thing with my um, kidney stone is probably what happened with the drop of blood pressure. But I didn't I'm glad know that they found it. I'm glad you were there when it happened. Yeah, I know. It was just crazy, though. You know. But how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Oh, you're so nice. I saw I saw you did a live stream. I commented a little bit. I think I commented on your live stream. 
thank you. I don't remember who comes. I know some people come and I say hi, but I'm usually so nervous that what? I don't really remember. Are you nervous? You nervous? Yeah, when I you get realize? so nervous. Oh, really? Right now no. I'm nervous being a fan. Oh, please don't be nervous. You're with me, okay? I want you to be relaxed. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I do. I just I oh. have a, like, what is it called? Public speaking or something? Oh, public speaking? Oh, Yeah, really? I have a fear of that. Oh, I think you sound very nice and very calming, though, you know? Thank you. I just pretend cool. I'm on the phone, and yeah. if there's people that can randomly hear me that are in the <laughs> chat, well, there I you pretend go. it's like a phone call. That's how I get through <laughs> I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you. I just want you to be <laughs> nice and relaxed and not nervous and stuff like that. Thanks. I mean, like, people have been so relaxed on my panel, they've fallen asleep. Now, I've fallen asleep on my panel before. I almost dozed off a couple times today, and then I know on Turtles, believe it or not, I fell asleep when she was had a black eagle up there, and they both thought it was funny. That was funny, though. Do they have soft voices? Sometimes people fall asleep when they feel really relaxed. Yeah. And But then sometimes other people will get offended and think that people fell asleep because they're boring. Oh, no, they're not boring. I, I mean, they're not boring. You're not boring. Thank you, Randy. I'm, you too. Yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah. Right. oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was. Well, I mean, I never really started doing that till like last year on. Uh, was it last year on. Uh, on Anthony's panel, I just fell asleep, and that's like, well, I think I'm doing it too much, or like overdoing it some, or maybe I'm just so relaxed. Why I just I'm in a state of relaxation, that just end up dotting off, maybe you know. Right, that's a good thing, though. Yeah, I mean, if you know, you I don't want. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you were nervous to come up here now, but there's nothing to fear. No, 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 I'm not nervous with you per se. Just. Uh... Yeah. I, I like I was online for years just in yeah. chats. I didn't do streams, okay. but now it's harder for me to type. I guess because I'm older. I don't know, but now it's easier for me to talk on a panel than it is yeah. for me to chat. Yeah, I get like that too. I know, like, because I was on Facebook though, and then sometimes when you just type, it's easier to miss under uh, misconstrue something someone said, like. What, are they mad at me or not? Because it's either, I mean, it's either read into a chat, uh, written word, and you, and you can just read it a couple of different ways. But I like they have a thing where you can leave a little voice clip and, and then you can talk normal to people, you know? Yeah, like voice messaging. I like yeah, that too. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, I remember random. What happened? I mean, I got to start, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I did random, that's going. cute. Yeah. I did, and then I remember Johnny Mac came up. I feel bad because I did a lot of things. Johnny Mac came. Up. I haven't talked to Johnny Mac forever, and then I think uh, I started talking for like two or two and a half minutes, and all of a sudden I felt like, "Hey, well, that well, that, well, that was quick." And I mean, because I did a live stream, I I was sleeping through almost the whole thing. It was like two hours. I ended up deleting it though. But Johnny Mac was on there and talking. I was really excited to talk to him. And you know, and like two minutes later, it's like. You know, I, I start slowing down. And then, like the third minute, I start snoring. I said, "Well, that he, I think he's like, well, that was quick, and then he left. I guess." But you I mean, I didn't stay up there. up there. I'd stay Latest up there the day. whole two hours and you, chatted you with the chat. Oh, that'd be cool. No, he just stayed. He left though. I mean, I wasn't had anything on him, but just I fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. So I mean, I don't know why. Man, I'm just getting too old, or or, no, or I'm just old. Relaxed. Not old, but just maybe like, you know, before you came, before you knew that you were having the emergency of the kidney stone, your body yeah. was probably going through some stuff yeah. ahead of time. And yeah. then sometimes people need like a month or so to recover afterwards yeah. from any kind of illness. Yeah. yeah. I guess maybe that is aging to an extent, yeah. but. Yeah. Well, I mean, I started, I think the first time it happened was on Anthony's panel last year, you know. And I Richard was up to do panels. I thought he just did streams. Didn't he have a girlfriend that was like kind of religious, but also flashed the audience? What do you want? To, what are you doing? I, I'm, I'm not sure if she's religious, but I mean, she's cool. I mean, he did a live stream yesterday walking across the one uh, bridge or something like that from New York into New Jersey. I remember that. You know? I can't remember if that's the same guy or not that I remember. He, he was funny. Yeah, Anthony, my baby. He goes, Jason, my baby. You know? Yeah, Asuka said my baby, and yeah. then Richard tried to correct me and be like, yeah. "No, you're not really her baby, okay? You're yeah. just, you're <laughs> just. That's just what we say." Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm like the baby. 
<laughs> You're my she's baby. really sweet to me though i carry my baby yeah. See, and he thought I was like going to take it too seriously. Like, oh, it's, yeah. you're not a baby. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, not like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. They said I remember one time I was talking to you on stream and you start snoring. Yeah. Well, I mean, what happened was, um, or then you start mumbling your words or not just speaking clear. Yeah. When you're tired, I mean, because I've done that before, and I was like, I've caught myself. It's weird though, because I'll drop in and out. I'll start talking, and all of a sudden, I'll go like this, and then I'll go quiet, and then you'll start hearing me snoring, and I'll wake back up. It's really, I'll get shocked back to life, waking up. I mean, I just stick with it, though. It's, it is funny, because I never knew what it sounded like while I was Until sleeping. Until you listen to it? Yeah. Do you take vitamins, though? Do you take multivitamins or anything? To no, I don't take your... any multivitamins. May I have should. Have you thought about taking, do you, have you ever tried Flintstone gummies? They're my favorite multivitamin. Oh, I never had Flintstone gummies, no. If you get some Flintstone gummies at Walmart or something, you can yeah. order them online, but sometimes they come melted. Actually, no, not anymore. Now that nowadays they put an ice pack in there, but okay. They're like they're not that expensive. You can just take a few a day and they help me with my energy levels so much because oh, cool. even if I eat regular foods, like it's yeah. not like I'm eating badly, even if yeah. I'm eating regular foods, I still don't get the energy from them okay. that I'm supposed to be. So the multivitamins help me with my energy a lot. And it like it's a night and day difference like you'll oh, sure. wake up the next morning earlier than you usually do you're wide yeah. awake faster you don't have to have like coffee and snooze your alarm like 10 times to get up and then once you do get up you don't need naps as often and um you know like it's it's something that like you don't realize you need until you don't until you try it and then you're like wow i can't believe how tired i was you know but it's hmm. just an idea That's yeah i definitely me. I mean, you have like generic food. gummies too. Generic. I mean, because my sister had some of those gummies too. You know, they have generic. The, gen, yeah, if there's generic Flintstones, I use the Flintstone ones because when I try the adult kind, it gives me a migraine, whatever ingredients okay. are in it. Oh, but okay. If I use the Flintstone gummies. I can just take a few uh, or yeah. just take a couple, and it's not a full adult dose of the vitamins. Yeah. And so it helps me with the not triggering migraines, but. Oh, I get People you. laugh at me for taking it, and I don't care. I just take it anyway. Well, no, just be happy. Because I remember I used, to, I used to get the Flintstone vitamins a long time ago, and that said they're too expensive. The chewable ones or something, I thought they were good. Oh, I used to love the little ones that were, like, for kids, but they were, yeah. like, hard. But yeah. then they started making them with fake sugar, and they tasted yeah. so bad. My kids wouldn't oh. use them either. And then they came oh. out with the gummies. Um, and then the kid <clears throat> was like, the gummies aren't a good idea, so I don't know, whatever. I don't know, just whatever you, whatever you feel comfortable with, you know. Yeah, they don't really need vitamins anymore. I'm the only one that uses yeah. them now, but I try to get them to use them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I should, man, I should start looking into that again. I never, I never th think about that, you know. Yeah, if I had money, I would send you some just to try them and see if it yeah. made any difference. Yeah, but but it's okay. Some people get enough from the foods they eat, you know. I yeah. just I don't know how they do that. I don't know if they shop organically or if they grow their own food or what. But it seems like the stuff at the grocery stores is like mostly water or something. Yeah. Well, I got I, I got know. like uh, grapes at um uh, at Walmart, and I got tomatoes at Walmart. I got to eat too today. Start eating some of them, so that should help some too. I love tomatoes. Cause, I mean, a lot of times with food review and stuff, um, a lot of food reviewers hate like vegetables or. They hate, like, I don't know. I mean, they, they don't like, or, like, they complain about, like, there being too much lettuce or tomato on a sandwich. They say, I'm not a damn rag, rabbit or something. I like I like lettuce and tomatoes on, you know, like hamburger. Me, too. I think it makes the sandwich. It makes it yeah. taste so much better to me. But I don't like it when yeah. tomatoes are made are hydroponic because that's when they taste to me like just water. It's oh, okay. like. It's got the physical tissue of the tomato, whatever yeah. it's called, and then the cellular structure, and then it has the, and then it's got water for flavor. Yeah. But when my grandpa used to farm out, when we lived in the country and he had yeah. his own garden, he didn't farm. I'm sorry, it's the wrong word. He also had a farm, but that was years yeah. before, but he had a garden and he would grow his own cucumbers and tomatoes and stuff mm. like that. The tomatoes tasted delicious. And now I realize after years of grocery store tomatoes that they must yeah. have tasted like the dirt they were grown in yeah which was so healthy i mean the dirt that they used was very healthy they used compost and tilled it and everything and 
um, now it's like if they if they grow it hydroponically, I think it's like just they grow it in a in a water. Like how yeah. is it going to get any flavor from water? I don't know. I remember that I might be about you letting me give this big speech about tomato. No, that's fine. I love it because I mean, I, I mean, if... about oh, that's fine. You know <laughs> how many food reviewers? So sweet. Oh, uh, you are too, honey. But you know how my food reviewers hate tomatoes? I love tomatoes. You can talk about tomatoes as much as you want. You <laughs> Thank know? you. You're welcome. No, I think you're I, you're you're a nice person, and I know. <coughs> there was an episode of King of the Hill where they talked about tomatoes, and it said like, it said Bobby tomatoes aren't ha supposed to have any flavor, and that these tomatoes are delicious. Like I think it was organic. Some like he wanted some organic store or something like that on King of the Hill. Yeah. If you get them fresh out of the garden and they're still hot because they've been under the sun all day and then you bite into one, it's like the best thing ever. Mm. I'll never forget that experience. And I wish, you know, they were growing like that. Now, even yeah. when you get them and they say vine grown, yeah. they're teasing. They still kind of mm. taste mostly like water. So I feel like they probably grow them on a vine in the water. Yeah, but... yeah probably. Yeah. Well, I know I bought some. I, I usually just buy them at the grocery store now. I'm not going to lie. I don't. I mean, I don't, I don't have it. The the soil I have don't is not good for like gardening or anything like that, you know. Yeah, you but have I mean, to you have to treat the soil like medically. Like you have to medically yeah. prepare soil to get it to where it's yeah healthy enough for food, right? Like yeah. There's this one guy wrote a book and he was trying to sell his. He went. I don't mean this in a negative way. It sounds like I'm being negative, but he was trying to sell his book for like ten dollars. Yeah. But I just mean he had it for sale for ten dollars, and it had like all this information about how to tell what your soil is like and then yeah. how to medicate it to make it where it's um, going to be primed for being able to grow food for yourself yeah. on it. Like nitrogen or I don't know. Yeah. It was too smart for me. Huh. I mean, I mean, do you have a garden yourself or? No, I'm not smart enough to do that. No, I, I might try like buying some seeds or like McDonald's had like some seeds they're giving away. Plans of stuff, and then it never, never went to fruition. You know, I remember my yeah. dad. Yeah, I have packages yeah. of seeds I've had for twenty something years. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the closest thing I had was I remember I had a pepper plant a long time ago, and then that went the way away the dodo bird. You know, my sister yeah, bought yeah. me like one of those tomato plants that hang upside down. You know, the one you get at the store or something like that, and they grow to fruition. A tomato plant that grows upside down? I think it was like something that was like, uh, I don't know what it was. She bought me some tomato thing. It was like, you hang it upside It was like something you buy at the, like, the store or something like that. or Like, like a fad or something? Yeah, like some type. You know, I can't share you what. out? What's that? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. I just not realized okay. I. Oh, you're okay. I think it was like something like you hang upside down or something like that. Some, oh, what was it? Some tomato. I can't, and it was a long time ago. And then my dad didn't want to eat anything off of it. And I, was, I don't know why. Tomato plant at the stores. Let's see. I, it was something like some gimmick I've seen on TV, you know? Yeah, I, was, okay. I don't. Because uh, people, for some reason, don't want to grow stuff in the dirt. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Do you have I a know, farmer's market? No. Oh well, it was a, it was uh, I don't know the tomato or the topsy turvy, uh, upside down was it the original topsy turvy? Oh, I have to wait for it. Original topsy turvy upside down tomato planter, as seen on TV. You know, grows delicious tomatoes all season long, no bending, caging, snaking, and weeding. I think that's what she sent me. It was went good and then stopped uh, growing tomatoes. So I was like, I think it's on sale for twelve ninety four. I don't know if there's shipping handling involved. Yeah, it was a topsy turvy uh, tomato thingy. Okay. And it grew so many tomatoes and then it just stopped. It's just um, easy to install, hang out almost anywhere, and I hung it up outside, you know. And it grew some tomatoes and then it stopped. They tasted good. Oh, they did no. taste good. They didn't taste like yeah. water. No, they. I mean, they tasted. I mean, I thought they tasted fine, but it was just weird. It hung upside down. They had like the thing with the seeds and stuff in the soil up top, and then the, like the 
the stems came out, you know, the vines and stuff with the tomatoes came underneath that. So I just got one of those, and my dad didn't want to eat anything off of it. You know, I thought it was good. But that was, was years ago. Yeah. Was he suspicious of it? Like he thought it might have no. poison or chemicals? No, I mean he just he just don't want to. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. He just liked that. It's really weird, you know. Does he like other tomatoes? Uh well, he did. I mean, he passed away, but he like he loves tomatoes. But he didn't want anything off that plant. I don't know why. He was being prejudiced. Yeah, probably. Yeah, prejudiced to tomatoes. Or tomato yeah, juice. Prejudiced against this tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> tomato juice. Yeah, no, he passed away in 2015. <laughs> but he loved he loved cherry tomatoes and stuff. There used to be a place that um, there was a place I went to a long time called Roadhouse uh, Six 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 or no Six Ninety or something like that, and it burned down. It used to be Johnny's Tavern. It's been around forever, and um, there used to be a hub of activity around the intersection. It was like uh. That and then there'd be like a, a used car dealership. I don't even think that's around anymore. And then there'd be like uh, around uh, next to it, there'd be like some farmers market selling like uh, corn or something like that. And for a while, there was a guy selling like heirloom tomatoes back in the nineties. And these are like you know these are tomatoes. That, I mean, uh, or ugly little tomatoes. They're different colors, like purple and brown and stuff like that. Just different type and current tomatoes. And uh, those are some of the best tomatoes I ever had. You know. A purple tomato? Yeah, like I mean, have you heard of heirloom tomato? They're like different colors. I've heard of it, but I don't know if I've seen them. Yeah, they, I mean, they're different colors, like purple and orange. I know Trader Joe's had brown tomatoes; those were good. I thought those were good. Um, but I mean, they're like differently grown, I guess. And they're, uh, they're like misshapen; and they don't look good. And I know my aunt Joyce; uh, they're not that right. They're not right. They're not right. They're not right. She. And my dad said, gave her one, and said she just took a bite, automatically spit it out, just to be, just to um, bother my dad because it was the, it was a good tomato, you know. She was just being mean. Yeah, she was. A, she my aunt Dorothy was very cruel, but not very nice. She passed away a long time ago too. Yeah, it's just weird. A lot of my a lot of my family members aren't very nice. My sister. That's what is, it sounds so. like. It seems like you're so nice. So it's it's weird to hear you describe someone as being unkind to you. Yeah. Or well, like my sister's not. My sister's really nice, you know. But I mean, a lot of my family members were kind of mean. Or my my dad was, my dad was just I don't know. He was he was all right though, but he was kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Was he in a bad mood? Maybe. Oh, sometimes he was. Yeah. He might have had a hard life or something. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, probably. But I mean, it was just weird though. I mean, it was just him and I, and you know. We, oh, we got a lot, but we fought a lot, though. It was, it was just, I don't know, it was just weird. But, I mean, you know, it's, it's all over and done with. I mean, he passed away a long time ago, you know? I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. It's okay. You know, I just like, I don't know. I think you're a good person to talk. I enjoy talking to you a lot. Thanks, Jason. I think so, too. I enjoy yeah, you're very nice. Yeah, you're very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. So what's uh, what's going on with you? Um, not much. Not much. No. You said you're talking to your kids before it's taken. Going to, oh, do they have today off because of Easter? Or? They had yesterday off because of Easter, so that was a blessing. And yeah. we had a good Easter. They went and got their youngest brother an Easter basket and put some candy in it in a video game. Oh, cool. And then oh, video game? They have, sorry. Oh, a video game. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, they put a video game in it to surprise them. It was like a Batman Legos 2 or something like that. I'm not sure what oh, it was cool. exactly. Yeah. Um, and then they worked today, so I wanted to... I was talking to them about the weather and whether they need to ride home later. And then I like to pray with them before they go to work if I can. Yeah. That's cool. I worry about things like random violence or yeah. cars or whatever. Yeah. And they walk to work, so I like to pray okay. with them first. I got you. Well, that's not incredibly kind of you, you know. Yeah, um, yeah I, I see that in your personality stuff. Um, I know with me, I don't know if I, I don't really pray that much, but I mean, I don't know. I should probably start praying more, you know. I like to pray with them, you know, if they're going to, if it's something like that. 
yeah. that it, you know we're not like super religious and pray before yeah. every meal or anything oh like yeah, that. yeah 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 some families do that we don't really mm. do all that but if it's something in a situation like they're going to leave the house you know and yeah. i just want to pray that they're safe in traffic yeah and from viruses and things like that you know it was put your mind at ease that's good that's a good thing yeah i'm just asking <clears> god <throat> for his for any of his help but if you don't if you're not religious or you don't believe in him then you shouldn't you know, well, no, I, I believe I just don't. I haven't been praying. I haven't really done a lot of prayer in a long time. I, I say I send prayers to people, you know, but I haven't really like prayed in a long time. I'm just like, uh, well, I, did, I mean, I know Turtle said one for a moment of silence for Easter and stuff. We did that, you know. Um, I helped, I was trying to help. Gordon was trying to recite like, uh, What's that? Our far, our father and the uh, hill, uh, hill Mary. I remember, I remember, I mean, because I remember having that and doing that at Catholic school, and I, you still remember those uh, prayers. So I mean, it was not completely verbatim, but I mean, I still remember those pretty well. And I was helping them with that. You, you went know. to a Catholic school? Yeah, I went to uh, not Catholic, uh, catechism for like, uh, it's like you know how they have like Sunday school. This was like catech. It was like school on Saturday. When I was really little, I mean, I think after one first grade or something like that, and it was like um, from like nine o'clock to eleven o'clock every Saturday morning, you know. And it was all free and stuff, and I know like we were going to there, and then all of a sudden they had something with. Um, I think the nuns wanted me to get flowers for the church, something like that, and I know my dad came to me and said, "Well, I got laid off, so I'm not going to be able to afford getting a." Uh, getting flowers for a church, and then the nun said, well, can your uh, son afford be, afford going to this church or something like that? And then dad took us both out of it. You know, wow, that's yeah. my fault. Yeah. Well, I was happy. I just wanted to stay home and watch cartoons anyways, you know. That's back when I had Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah, but Jesus told, Jesus said not to use his father's house as a plate like you shouldn't be exchanging money there yeah but that's what that's what happened they said like well i mean the the, the school was free i don't to my knowledge you know and hey marcus and yeah, uh just trying to put him down yeah instead of realizing he's probably going through stress on his own yeah in his personal life and didn't yeah. need that yeah or the, the, they wanted him to buy flowers for the church and stuff like that well i can't really afford that now and said you can your son can't afford a be here and then he took us both me and my sister both out of it you know but it was weird though because we have like um some like my community my like first communion and stuff and they were like and then they have all they give you like this whole big thing you order like my first communion ring and all this other merchandise and stuff like that it's really weird i mean it was like they i mean they were giving you stuff and then they have like they would have like this penny carnival like wooden stuff for like and you have like when a thing of penny, you play a game for a penny or stuff. But I mean, they had other things. They played like cartoons there too, and they played HR Puff and stuff there. Where she not there? So they weren't like of, a greedy church. They just didn't handle that well. Uh, I don't know. If they were. I mean, it's just weird that all the they gave me a catalog for that thing. Tell my mom to order a bunch of stuff for like my first communion and stuff, or they they give us like a thing for that UNICEF thing for. Uh, Halloween to go around and get like go from door to door get with that little piggy bank for UNICEF getting like a dime a piece. It was like, this was a long time ago. I remember UNICEF. That was yeah. a long time ago. Well, they, they give you like get businesses to donate yeah, to it yeah. and raise do fundraisers. Yeah, they give you that little like cardboard piggy bank. You had to go around and have people put money in it, and then you turn it into the church. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it was different though. Hey, Marcus. We I'm used to do like fundraisers it. sometimes, but it was for the youth yeah. um, to be able to go to camp or something. That's cool. I think the last fundraiser I ever did was um, we were talking about a thing going to uh, it wasn't um, I was at Grimm's and stuff. We were talking about a thing for March of Dimes that walk for like, I don't know, like a three mile walk or something like that. I had my Walkman ready and stuff. And I went around. I raised money 
I think I raised two hundred dollars for. Um... Oh, thank you, bye. I love you too, man. Um, I'd have like, um, I think I raised like two hundred dollars for March of Dimes. This is a long time ago. This is like ninety five, ninety six. You know, that's a lot. Yeah. I think I did. I walked all over the place to get money. To, but I felt weird like a, a lot of times like it's just weird to ask people for money. I don't like doing that, you know. I know. I don't like it either. It makes me I, anxious. Yeah, I mean, because people like I gave it to the office or, hey, hi. Hi, Black Eagle. How you doing? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the conversation. You can come up if you want. Yeah, it, you're always welcome. Um, It was just I don't know it's just weird because uh, some people say I gave the office or something like that. Or like it, I would feel incredibly uncomfortable doing it now. Or I remember one place said I uh, there's some uh, called no solicitation or something like that. I wouldn't want to do that now. You know, it's just too much walking all over trying. Yes, you know, used to love HR. Oh, HR Puff stuff was good. They showed a the catechism though. But HR Puff stuff was good. That one Cinder Marty Croft guy passed away. But I think it was Sid Croft, I think, or the other guy passed away. Now, I like, did you remember those shows, uh, Carrie, like Land of Lost and H.R. Puff and stuff? And... No, I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. Oh, well, they used to be like old, like, uh, Saturday morning TV shows. And they're, some of them, like, they, uh, it seemed like some of those shows are so out there, it seemed like they might have smoked a little something when they created some of those kid shows because they were out there, though. Yeah. Um, but then, I mean, but then they produced like regular shows. I guess they did that um, show in the eighties, the Mandrell Sister Variety Show with Barbara Mandrell. I didn't know they produced that show too. They did like regular shows too, you know. But I mean, they did like some really trippy stuff back in the day. But, I, I mean, some of those, I saw. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Well, I remember I saw the they re, uh, they had like the Electro Woman and Dinah Girl with uh, Deidre Hall playing uh, Dinah. Electro Woman. I guess they did like a re revamp movie of that and with cursing and stuff. It was weird, but it was kind of funny. But I mean, it's just weird seeing like a children's show brought to, I don't like PG-13 or R-rated level. I can't remember if that R-rated or PG-13 rated. Let me see. But it was just weird seeing them do it with, and it was cursing and stuff in it, though. And there was never any cursing in those shows. They, these were like low-budget shows on uh, NBC on Saturday morning, back when he used to have, um, why would he show uh, cartoons and stuff? Yeah, Electro Woman, Dinah Girl, yeah. Yeah, they, they redid this, uh, oh, the TV miniseries, like, oh, okay. Uh, that was like an, uh, 81 minutes. I, I thought it was all right, though. Yeah, 5.3. But it's just weird that it was like violence and stuff in it. Oh, maybe it was like two episodes. I don't know. I don't know. But it was like a miniseries brought to life. It was entertaining, though. But, I mean, it's just weird to have a cursing and stuff in a kids' book show, you know? Yeah, I don't agree with that. I mean, but not a... my kids till they were 12. Really? I mean, what's... Yeah, I, I mean, I'm... <laughs> just... What's that, hon? <laughs> I shouldn't have done it then. Oh, really? It, just, yeah. it slipped out. I don't remember now why. Well, it's okay. I mean, it was a remake of like a show for kids back in the old days, you know. And I guess um, they redid it, and there was like violence and cursing. It not, I mean, not like super bad, but it was just weird. Yeah, it wasn't the same vibe. I liked it, though. I did enjoy it. I remember. I mean, because it was weird. I forgot about a lot of these shows, and then on Nick and Night would have like a week to dedicate to the old shows, and some of those shows look really, really low budget, you know. Like Land of the Lost, you remember Land of the Lost was remade with Will Ferrell, you know, in 2014. I, think I, I saw thought... that when it was on TV. Yeah. So, an H was really the kid that started in HR Puzzle was unfortunately chronic alcoholic. Wow. And I remember, I think she was talking about, like, he was talking about Sydney and the Sea Monsters. I remember that as a kid. And there was one called Far Out Space Nuts with, uh, Chuck McCann and Bob Denver. And they're like two guys working. They launch themselves out of, in outer space. You know, that was a fun show. They also had a movie version. Oh, okay. 
I can't remember the guy's name though. He was in some uh I remember seeing some Disney movie he played like Dracula or something. I reviewed that too. Carrie, yeah, they're saying hi to you, Carrie. Oh, is someone saying hi to me? Yeah, Black Eagle. Oh hi, Black Eagle. Yeah. See, I mean we all get along real well. I think I think we're I'm doing charging a great my job. phone, so I laid it down. It's starting to die. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's at 4%, so I was just putting it down oh. and listening. I'm sorry, but I am listening. If you want to keep talking till it dies, I can. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoy talking to you very much. Cause we talked a long time ago, and I just... I Did you just, like, uh, kind of not... Were you not on YouTube that much, and then you were on Richards again, you know? Um, I was on YouTube, yeah, not as much sometimes, but... Yeah. Uh, there were some people messing with me and I couldn't take it oh. emotionally. Oh, and then I'm now I'm on uh, anxiety medication. I'm, yeah. I'm on more than I, I'm on more than I used to be. So I'm yeah. able to be on here more. Well, and if people cool. mess with me, I don't have like a panic attack. You know what I mean? So. Well, I'm sorry uh, that's happened to you. Thank you. And they're also not messing with me as much now, maybe because yeah. of my health. Yeah, maybe I'm I mean afraid. maybe the people that hated me still hate me, but they're not as aggressive about it or something. I don't know. Oh, but well, yeah, I know. I, sorry. Yeah. Well, I know I sure don't hate you. I am sorry about your health too. I know. Thank about you. Thanks. You I was a. Uh, I uh, don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh, that's okay. So, Worrying about what people are say, saying about you and stuff. Yeah, it stresses me out. No, they were doxing me. They were going to put me on things like Backpage. They were going to have strangers come to my house, and I'm a single mom. Oh my and God. with my health, I couldn't like have fought back if somebody did attack me. So it was just like, I'm not trying to talk about anything negative, though. I'm just saying. No, no, no. It's okay. Um. So I was online, but not. I, I had. I wasn't using that account anymore, and then I yeah. deleted that account. Yeah. Uh, so then I eventually made my way back around. I don't remember why. Wow. Thank you, Black Eagle. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Richard yeah, is a lot of fun. Too. He's very funny. Yeah. Well, it was nice seeing you talk to him and stuff like down there. I don't, I don't, I remember talking to you a long time ago, and then I never had you up on panel before, you know. Yeah, so I'm sorry about that. Place. Thank you. That's okay. I'm glad to be up here with you. Yeah, I'm um, like, I was on his panel a couple of times, but he said he didn't yeah. do StreamYard, so I don't know how I came up there unless. Yeah. Uh, maybe he called on like a burner phone or something and yeah but being yeah, there that, came on his panel and isn't she wasn't she in australia yeah she was on australia back that was a boy that was a long time ago though so how <clears> would <throat> she have come on panel if he didn't have a stream yard option but no he has stream yards i think yeah oh i thought he said he didn't okay i got confused yeah, I, I, he does i mean that you're up on the stream yard thing Oh really? Oh really? I had to admit that the other night you felt so good. So much. Oh, laugh a lot. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, Black Eagle. I'm glad I made you laugh. It I sounds like cute it. to me. I wish he would have left that stream up, Black Eagle, just because <laughs> it sounds so cute the way he said yeah. it happened. I think I have the one with Black Eagle and and us, uh, me falling asleep. I think I had that on my channel too. Oh, you do? Do you know what day it happened? So I can go back and find it. Hmm. I mean, let me look. I, I, it's probably, I probably can look or like scan through it. But I have a lot of like, um, I think I have it. Let me, uh, let me double check. Uh, let's see. Content live stream. Cause I mean, cause I was able to multi, uh, she has an option where you can, uh, like send her stuff to your people too. Maybe yeah, it's if I were able to log into StreamYard, yeah. um, which I can, I just don't know yeah. how. But if yeah. I log into StreamYard, even if I were to hit cast to my audience, it would send it to my friend's yeah. channel because she gave yeah. me the keys, whatever that means exactly. But she gave me the keys to her StreamYard so that I can go live from it if I want to. This was her before stream. I started going live. So I think it's uh, I the one I call what? It to my, sorry? Yeah. No, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think it's called What's Up. What's Up? Okay. Well, you know what you could do? I'm not trying to tease you, but yeah. What's you that? could rename it What's Up, What's Up, and then put a asterisk or something, and then put yeah. um, where I fall asleep, 
yeah. two minutes into yeah. the stream or something like that. You might put something yeah. cute like that and then people will click yeah. on it even if they don't know you. If it gets yeah. recommended, they'll click on it just to see the funny parts. I don't know. I don't know. I had the one where I fall asleep right away, but this is the one I was on Turtles. And then the Black Eagle and Turtle were talking, and I fell asleep during that. I think oh, it's yeah. called WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one oh, called I like, WhatsApp. I like the other one that you took down, though. That you, you fell oh, I should have kept that up. I should have kept it up. Oh, well. Well, he left, though, right? So that's not as yeah. much fun. If they kept yeah, I was, while you were was, sleeping yeah. and they didn't mute you, that's that's adorable. Oh, well, yeah. They said it. She said, Black Eagle said I was adorable, too, which is very nice of her. Very kind. <laughs> but she's a nice lady, too. Yeah, she's I just like being myself. I just like being myself. And I felt like, and they were both, they were both like, I mean, because we were making Turtle laugh, doing whole Dangus Rangus thing, you know. And then Gordon was up there, and then Gordon left, and then I was there, and then Black Eagle came up. I think I fell asleep, and then, you know. But it was still fun, though. Yeah. And Gordon came back up later on, and then Gary came up, and then Gordon left, and then we up for a little bit longer, and she ended it. That was, I think that was the last one she did, because that was, like, Saturday night, I think. And then I did a couple of live streams uh, the next day, and you were on my Easter one. You know, my first Easter one, and then I did oh, a yeah. second Easter one. Too. Yeah, yesterday. That's right. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. You remind me of, like, the thing of, like, the fox and the hound, you know, with the lights and stuff on it. You ever see that movie, the Disney movie? Oh, yeah, that movie made me sad, though. It was sad, though. I mean, that was... When I went to Germany, that was the very first movie I saw at the um, at the theater, you know, at the movie theater inside. Yeah. yeah. It was the different way. They, I mean, because in Birmingham, I don't think Birmingham had the movie theater. That would suck, man. I used to love going to movies all the time, you know, in the, in the army, you know, and I kind of fell out of it because after COVID, I don't know, I lost uh, the appeal to go to movies. It's not as much fun as it used to be, you know. You have to pick your seats and then, like, like there'd be no, like, designation of what movie's on what thing. They have to direct you to what theater has what movie, you know. I don't know, like, any of that stuff. They took all the fun out of it, you know. They don't let you just go to a movie theater? They direct you? Well, I mean, they I mean, they don't have, like, they don't have lights on the marquee that's just, like, blank. They used to have, like, a big thing of what's playing at which theater, and they just tell you, like, third third uh, door on the right or whatever, you know. They got rid of all, like, the indication of what movies they're playing, because I guess people were, like, leaving there and sneaking in other movies or something like that, I guess. Yeah, I remember when kids were rebels when yeah. I was, like, in high school and stuff, and they'd leave one movie and go to another one instead of leaving or paying yeah. for the new one, and that was, like, so thrilling, you know, like, it was, like, a, they're, like, being criminals or something. It was, like, yeah. a they thought it was very exciting. I, I I'd never done that though. Well, I know in the military we'd have like I'd see like three movies at one time, and basically you watch the movie, and then I was done. You go out and wait in line and pay for a ticket and go. And you don't want to get in trouble for that in the military though. You get in trouble, you know. Yeah. I wonder if I should teach my kids to do that. What's that? Sneaking into another theater. Oh really? Do they go to jail? I don't think you're going to jail. Maybe it's criminal jail. Hi, Black Eagle. Hey, darling. Hi, hey, how Black you doing? Eagle. Hi, Carrie. Oh, my God. Oh. Jason, that, I have to tell you, <laughs> I didn't, you know when you laugh and you didn't know how much you needed to laugh? Yeah. Like, I really needed that. That was awesome. Oh, and we I'm weren't sorry. laughing at you. It was just oh, adorable no. and funny. Oh. Aww. And just thank fun. You. It was yeah, fun. I'm glad I made you happy. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm glad I made you laugh. Uh, that's all that's about, though. You know, that's so cool. How you been? I'm good. I'm good. We're gearing up here. I'm on my lunch break. We're uh, we're gearing up for lobster season. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be, I'm supposed to be going back to work tomorrow. So. Oh no, kidding. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. Where do, where do you work? Well, I work. I want to just say a factory and stuff. Like I don't want to say oh, where I work. Okay, okay. Yeah. sure. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. like a little dingy place. But I mean, I got laid off, and then like I came back, and then I 
you know, like uh, two weeks later, I just felt really lightheaded and I'm mm -hmm. going to the hospital. And then that led up to, uh, so I was there for, and they called me back and I had pink eye at the time. And then I, my blood pressure dropped and stuff. So it's been a kind of a bad year with stuff like that. So hopefully now sure. I'm like a hundred percent. So I'll be a, better to go back to work, you know. Sure. It's got to be well, kind of rough in the routine again. You can you know? always try it out and see how it goes and, you know, listen to your body and if, you yeah. know, take exactly. it as it comes. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, Turtle might not see me as much, but I mean, I'll be back to work and stuff. I talked to her, there'll be a time when I go back to work and stuff, you know. Right. Well, this is, I mean, winter up here in Maine is on yeah. the lobster wharf is our slow. We do, yeah. um, periodically we do we'll go and set up um a truck somewhere and sell out of the back of the truck usually around the holidays yeah. we um we set up at a at a camp uh at a fairground actually yeah. and uh, i think i have a picture there but i love it i love 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 uh what i do awesome i'm glad i need all, all the work or well, so I long. used to drive. I used to drive a deliver yeah. lobster, um, but it's just I'm getting too old for that. But uh, 120 pound crates are not easy to uh, schlep around. Oh my god! Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, I used to do. I once a week. I used to do a trip to Vermont from Maine, which is about a four hour drive, and. I would, I would literally, it would literally be a 23 hour, 24 hour day from the time that I woke up, yeah. drove to the wharf, packed it up, drove to Vermont. And, um, I used to, we used to deliver to all the Hannafords from the bottom of the state to the top of the state. Wow. And then at the end of the day, I'd have to drive back four hours and that was brutal. But, uh. Yeah. It sounds brutal. Dang. I can't imagine. Did you probably get home to like midnight or something like that? And yeah. Yeah. And by the time, um, but you know, I'll tell you what, I would not, I, I loved it. I loved doing it. And oh, um, yeah, metal, I don't know if either of you have ever been to Vermont, but people yeah. there are just super nice. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. so cool. So I don't remember if I went or not when we went up to New York and Boston. You'd remember. <laughs> There's a, yeah, it's uh, pretty. If ever I could afford to have like a second home or yeah. whatever, even I'd even if I could afford land there, I'd even put like a trailer on it to go, you know, in the summer or whatever. Yeah. But um, that would be where I would go. It's just so beautiful there. That's where I would. That's what I would do if I could go to Summit County, Colorado, or somewhere in that mm -hmm. area. That's where they have the ski resorts, which I'm not interested in. Yeah. But yeah. I've gone during the summer, and it's so beautiful. I wish I could live there. But mm. I love my state, cool. and my family's here. So, mm. well, you know, I remember one day I was lost, yeah. and. Um, I was, you know, so I ended up sort of dry. I was in this particular area, lost, you know, going one way, coming back, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I was just sitting on the side of the road and this sweet, sweet man came up and he said, you know, I've been watching you. <laughs> he said, are you lost? I said, I am. He said, you come on in. So he and his wife took me in. And at that point, I was really frustrated. You know, they, we got out the map, we, you know, we figured out and they gave me, a, you know, a cup of tea or whatever. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was, it's things like that, that just, you know, don't happen very often. So. That's great though. Yeah. Well, I know I had a roommate from Maine and stuff like that. And he didn't know that, uh, lobsters were their main cash crop there. Because he ate seafood. Yeah. And stuff. yeah. Huh. He became, well, when like, you were talking about, yeah, when that? you were talking about a uh, farmer's market, we set up yeah. a farmer's market and um, I loved it. We used to put out a touch tank so that kids at the, um, 
at the market can come and would put, you know, would put snails in there and would put little crabs in there and would put, you know, and kids would come by and we, we had a, we set up a lobster trap for them to sit on and they could read books about lobster. And, Aww. you know, every week their, their parents would bring them and they'd beeline it right for our tent. And yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Fun. awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I, I enjoy, I, I bet you the lobster rolls are pretty good there too in Maine. Yeah. I mean, if you like, lo I mean, myself personally, I get, I don't eat a lot of lobster anymore because I'm just lobstered out. But uh, oh, I just imagine, yeah. I love this this time of year. It's scallop season, so. But yeah, yep. I like scallops too. Yeah, well, I feel badly we when because we ship. It's called peri ship. Yeah. For anything per perishable, uh, the yeah. post office has their own division for anything being shipped per perishable. And it's we we ship either six lobsters at a time or twelve, and it's you know it's not so much the lobster that's expensive as the shipping. Oh yeah, I mean so, now the lobsters still alive though. Yep, when they do. They last. They last about at minimum, you know, at least twenty four hours. Really, you can put lobster if you buy lobster today. You can have it for your for your cookout tomorrow night yeah. or whatever. Oh, that's cool. They, their, their system, yeah, their system shuts down so that, um, you know, they because you definitely do not want to cook a dead lobster. No, no, no. Now, what happens when bacteria sets in with the dead lobster? Yeah. Yep. Well, what about, like, the frozen stuff you get that you can heat up and stuff that's not good either? No, I mean, it's, you know, it's like any seafood that you yeah. get, um, you know. But up here at this, you know, starting now, moving forward through the summer, it's pretty expensive. So, but I just imagine what, what, what about, I mean, I know I, it was a tough doing like the thing for <coughs> scallops. So, um, well, again, scallops are super expensive. The season is very short. Yeah. And um, they're huge. They're unbelievably yummy. But um, I, yeah, I see one of the one. one of the good things about where where we live and the people that we live around is, you know, everybody takes care of each other. So, if my neighbor gets a bucket of scallops for you know he pays quite a pretty penny, we'll either you know he'll share them with us, and then. You know, if my boss, I don't go out on the boat, but if he gets a rare type of fish or whatever, it's just, it's very communal. This, where I live, people think Mainers are very standoffish, but, the, you know, we have a, um, I don't know how to describe it. I guess it would be better for someone else to describe it. Yeah. Um, people just, you know, we just have a way about us that's different. Well, kind of okay. like Swedish people. Swedes, yeah. Swedes are very, um, it, they feel, they seem very cold. Yeah. But it's just sort of, um, you know, it's just an inherent uh, way that they are. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, that's cool. You, where are you from? Did you already say? Uh, Pennsylvania, around Erie. No, no you are. Where, Carrie, are you? Oh, is Carrie gone? Oh. No, her phone died because she was on four percent, mm. and she said oh. she'd stay on as long as she could. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I got but, blabbing. Well, well, <laughs> I didn't okay. notice it. Too. <laughs> but she's on four percent though. But I was nice, incredibly kind of her. She come up. Yeah. Well, we, I think we talked a long time ago, but she's never been on my panel. And then she yeah. talked on Richards, and then she was on my panel yesterday for East, Easter morning, and then this one okay. today. Yeah. Okay. I'm not used to doing panels in the morning, but I thought, you know, I do a couple before I have to go back to, to the grind of things again, you know. Mm. Well, I'm on my lunch. Well, I say it's my lunch break. It's we work and we take some time off. And we go back right this time of year. We're just doing things like 
fixing traps, making sure all the vehicles are up to par, taking them in to be serviced. Yeah. Basically, whatever I can do to, to get some hours, I'll do. <laughs> we have a wow. rental we have on our wharf, and I, yeah. I clean them. Yeah, you know, I do whatever. I do what I'm told. There you go. That's the <laughs> way to do it. <laughs> well, I work with my sister, so she's my boss. Oh, your sister's your boss? Yep. Well, you don't have to get, yeah, at least you don't worry about getting fired then. <laughs> oh, I get fired all the time. I get fired all the time. Oh, she gets mad to <laughs> say you're fired. <laughs> we have our moments. But oh, uh, arguments and no, stuff. Yeah. I I love my sister. It's it's been a tough Easter is a very difficult time uh for our family because that's um she actually uh, lost her son on Easter Day. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, he was 28. His name is Bryce. And, uh, yeah, he, he, um, he had been clean uh, yeah. and sober for a year. Yeah. And he ended up uh, relapsing the one time. And, uh, and he he died from a heroin well it wasn't heroin now it's uh fentanyl oh fentanyl wow that was that when it was fun. first coming out about yeah. five years ago wow so yeah That's... uh he was a good such a good kid too he yeah. really really was oh, and fun. he well my sister was his stepmom but he yeah. absolutely absolutely adored her and but luckily she had, when he was in his sobriety year, she went to surprise him out of the blue about an hour away. Yeah. And uh, so their last time moments together were great. Exactly. He was really happy, happy to see her. And yeah. Anyway, not to be, not to be depressing. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay, honey. But, it's all right. Uh, yeah. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, it's re it's been a really lousy year so far, in my opinion, you know. Well, like, life life on life's terms, you know, none of us can avoid it. It, um, yeah. It's life. It's part of life. Exactly. That gets kind but of... But I, I really think the way that we live as a culture yeah. um, is so different than when I was young or when I was raising my kids. I'm so grateful that... Um, you know, that I didn't have to fight the internet and all of the things out there that uh, kids contend with today. Are you switched to your computer? Okay. It's okay, Carrie. I, I... You can come back up. I've got a little more time. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. I mean, my kids, I remember my son Hans Christian he was right at the beginning of um, uh, what was the the first ge not Nintendo. Um, oh, he used to be a freak for for a a game with the little hand held. Uh, oh, Game Boy, Game Boy, Game. Oh my God, thank yeah. you. I'm like I yeah. can't believe it because yeah. that used to drive me right through the roof. Yeah. Oh, the but, Game Boy did. Yeah, but then right. by the time. I my twins came along however many years later they were into roblox and oh. uh they would play it all night long and i would go down to their room at about two three in the morning and they'd be playing roblox i think my head was going to fall off i mean i, I right. can't tell you how i would literally i mean i was ready to throw the computers out out the window but since i had paid for them i thought differently yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Sorry about that. I'm good. It's Thank okay. You. It's okay. Well, I remember I started hearing about the Game Boy like ninety or ninety one about Tetris and stuff. Cause they used to yeah. play a game all the time. Uh, they used to play a commercial all the time during a uh, what's that? American Gladiators. Remember that show? I don't. But uh, yeah, I remember American Gladiators. I mean, they they used to be popular. And they played on Saturday mornings, and they played like twice a week, I, when I was in Fort Bragg, you know. 
Mm. That was for one, and they did a whole uh, documentary about the show too. It was interesting. I have uh, a friend that a friend of mine who has a Pac Man. Um, he collects antiques and things, and he's got a, a Pac Man machine. Oh, awesome! Yeah, and it works. Cool. I know my one friend bought a whole bunch of stuff for his man cave, and then he's bought stuff including like those skill games and stuff. Is really kind of neat. Mm. He did a whole his game the game room and stuff. That's pretty neat. Mm. Yeah, I mean, but it, I mean, he's a nerd. But boy, that stuff gets expensive. And he gets like pachinko machines and stuff. They're a couple hundred pounds. Uh oh, Carrie dropped off again. Uh oh. Uh. Yeah. Nowadays, my grandchildren. I mean, it just—it's crazy. When I when I'm with them and spend time with them, I absolutely forbid any type of electronics. Um, at all. Really? I won't. Yeah, that's that's the number one rule. We're gonna hang with with Nona. Um, oh, I got you. No distraction. Yes. Yeah, we're not. No, no electronics. Mm. So I got you. No phone. It, I'm, it was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Keep going. No, no. I was just saying. That's just. It's the way. It's the way of the times. Even yeah. when my my twins were in high school even my well, actually all three of my youngest we could log in and watch their classroom on you know they had it on i don't know if it was zoom or what we logged into but i i was like i'll i'll pass on that i, I don't want to sit there going crazy while my kids passing notes and yeah fucking yeah, off <laughs> 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 my there we go. Hi. Hi, Carrie. Hi, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not yeah. good with technology. Oh, yeah, me either. We're like that guy Neil on the young ones. Oh, all the machines hate me. I like that. <laughs> I don't know I've if you see that. Young one. I don't know if you saw young ones either. That was like a British TV show. It was funny. Yeah. With all the, that's not the one where they say dangus, so. <laughs> I love British comedies. Yeah. Right? Oh, I know. That's cool. Yeah, Young Ones is good. But that thing with Dang is that's from that show, Free Health, for the Dark Steve Brule. I think that show's hilarious. It's really funny. Oh, I'll have to look it up. I didn't know where that came from. Yeah. That was from the show. John C. Riley was on there. Well, they had, like, Tim and Eric Oss, good job on there. That lasts, like, forever. And then, like, that was a spinoff show. He did a couple scenes by me. He's so busy, he was only able to do what he could do, you know. But show was mm. really funny. Do you remember? Did do you remember the IT crowd? Yes, I could watch that. I do. Wa I watch clips of that all the time. Hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. it was very good. I yeah. reviewed it. John uh, showed me that show on Netflix. We watched all the episodes that we did a review mm. of the show. You know. Oh, I have a huge crush on Richard Ayoade, uh, and he's oh. such a geek. He's such yeah. a geek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, did, when you shut it off and turn it back on again? <laughs> or like uh, he said, right, like right. Yeah, all about people goes yeah. people, what bastards? <laughs> or when they were at the dinner party, and yeah. uh, but anyway, that's a rabbit hole. But oh uh, yeah, it was funny. I, I love you know. and I send it to people all the time, and they're like, "Okay, we get it." It's funny. Stop sending me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. I'm not going to watch it. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's, I could. I watch the same thing over and over, and I laugh yeah. hysterically. Oh, awesome! I'm so. The glad. same thing happens when I watch black books. Is it black black books? Ooh, I love black books. Oh my god! I never I've seen, seen that. I've seen that show. Sorry, Jason. Go ahead. I've never seen that. I never seen. Oh, keep going, keep going. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a. It, it only had a few seasons, but every yeah. time I watch mm -hmm. it, we usually watch mm -hmm. it from the beginning to the end, and I laugh at all the same places as if I'd never right. seen it before. It's such a right. good show. I love the one when he's um, when the bald guy or the balding guy goes out on a date, and uh, anyway, yeah, with the long with, hair. Yes. Yeah. I love when he flips his hair. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, the, the combination of those three actors is just, I mean, because it's all about, you know, timing and dry humor is very, very difficult to do. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just love to be a fly on the wall watching them film those episodes because they're just hilarious. They are. I wish they'd finished. I wish they'd done more episodes of it. Mm. I feel robbed. I felt like community mm. was robbed by them. Yeah. Well, you know, I forget the, um, it's going to come to me that the, the guy with the brown hair, he, um, he ended up getting, you know, he actually was a, as much as they portrayed him as an alcoholic on the show, which not really as an alcoholic, but a heavy drinker, whatever yeah. in real, um, in real life, he, he was, and, uh, yeah, he, he was got, struggling. yeah, he ended up getting sober and, uh, you can see some interviews of him talking about that. And, uh, so, which maybe, you know, maybe part of the success was that he was a raging drunk. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't acting. It was real. <laughs> and I'm glad he got his life better because, he was doing the stand up, you know, and he mm -hmm. shared one time about having a daughter now with a wife and everything. Like, mm -hmm. it's one of the few times where I feel people have gotten better because it's mm. obviously such a downward, you know, sure. I don't want to be sad though, but it's a. Yeah. I, well, I mean, you think about the whole realm of, of film or television and how easy it would, it, it, is and there is a lot of drug and alcohol uh, yeah. abuse in that industry and um, yeah, there's nothing stopping them from getting it right. like at least with regular people's incomes yeah. they don't always have the money for all that but whenever you're making a lot of money or you have a lot of the connections there's like nothing to stop you from that lifestyle right and fame I mean when when you're famous people cater to, to your every you know, because everybody's job depends on it. If you're working on a crew on a television show or a movie set, you're certainly oh. not going to disrupt So the temptations flow. are everywhere? Well, temptation is everywhere, but also people are going to keep their mouth shut because they don't want to lose their job. That's why, you know, if you look at everything that's coming to light now with all with all the scandals from Weinstein, Epstein, P. Diddy, all of it, yeah. it's, you know, the veil has been dropped. And uh, oh. just just all the debauchery that goes yeah. with the industry. There's supposed the industry. to be a new show coming out about children's TV. It was like the dark mm -hmm. side of children's TV. Yeah. And I think there's only been one episode so far, but I'm guessing they're going to address some of the abuse eventually. Sure. But, well, the the girl that was on, <clears throat> excuse me, iCarly, has been very vocal and proactive in in revealing what it was like to be a child star, and uh, actually, with her, it was she was, um, you know, she she battled anorexia. Her mom was yeah. um, extremely abusive, and. Um, she just ripped the band-aid right off of that situation. Wow. That's yeah. Sad. I think the Jacksons had shared that their dad was abusive when they were growing up. Mm. Yeah. Extremely. But back then <clears throat> it, it um nobody nobody there was no uh you know buffer between an abusive parent and their child, period. It just um, especially, and again, it just all goes hand in hand. You know, they were making money. They were, you know, when, when you're in a, in a corporation like the Jacksons, <clears throat> look at how many people they employ. Look at how, you know, same yeah. thing with Michael Jackson, all the people that he, that, that were around him that knew full well, whatever the extent of what was going on, everybody knew it. It was not a secret. That's what bothers me about some of these people when they expose things is, you know, somebody complained about it before the time when it got to the news. Yeah. You, like, you know, people have been saying something and those people were being hushed or 
made to look crazy or whatever. Mm. And then eventually when everybody accepts, yeah, this is what happened and it can't be lied about anymore. Then it's like, oh, these people are heroes for coming forward. But somebody had to have been coming forward beforehand and being yeah. hushed sure. for 10 years, 20 years, whatever. Well, I mean, not that I'm making excuses for it, but when you think about it, when you when you look at the Michael Jackson case and you think about, I mean, what parent in their right mind, I don't care who the celebrity is, is going to let their child go off on extended periods of time with ultimately a complete stranger. Granted, he might be yeah. world renowned, but he's still, who would do that? And it, and a lot of it is because, you know, they're all of a sudden there, there's a celebrity in their life. Their Jackson was very generous financially. Yeah. And, I um, hadn't seen that kind of money before. Sure. Who know. has? Nobody yeah. has. And to then, you know, Oh my gosh, never land. And it, um, I'm not making excuses for it at yeah. all, but I try to put myself in the position of of it and it's it's just a you know it's its own animal it's a whole different realm of uh of life that most of us will never be exposed to. yeah i'm glad though i'd rather be poor and have a normal life than be in that kind right. of lifestyle with all its own issues because michael jackson didn't escape from it alive he ended up accidentally dying from it Right. Well, the whole phenomenon of reality television, uh, you know, all of a sudden, everyday Joes can be celebrities for, yeah, for all the now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was saying, mm -hmm. yeah, that happens with YouTube now. Right. Where people right. are just YouTubers and they don't, sometimes they don't have, I don't want to be rude. Never mind. Well, it's okay. No, I, you're, it's, it, it's so out of control. I remember way back, I think right around 98, 99, something like that. When the first, I was at a friend's house and uh, she says to me, oh my God, I just um, auditioned. I just sent a tape into this show. They're doing this show. And it was the very first survivor, the very, very first one. She sent an audition tape. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? She's like, well, it's going to be this show. And you have to, uh, you know, you have to send in a tape. And if they pick you, you end up going on an island. And I thought, that is just like, that is the most bizarre thing I have ever heard of. <laughs> yes. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, hi, and Gordon. you know, look, look yeah. what it became. <laughs> well, you that remember? Sounds, it sounds. Well, do you remember those? Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, no, no! Do you remember those shows like they used to have Kentucky Fried Movie in prime time, and Groove Two, where they made fun of like these shows, like these game shows where you had to survive to to stay alive to win the prize. That's that. Those shows have become the, what they used to mock in those movies, like Survivor and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Well, now, you know, it's like everyone's just throwing mud up against the wall to see what sticks. Yeah. Look oh, at so yeah. many different realities, brothers, bachelorette. Um, I mean, yeah. I, have my, I have a girlfriend, and one of her daughters was on the <laughs> modeling show with um, uh, Janice Dickinson, and her other yeah. daughter was on The Bachelorette. I mean, it's not oh, wow. too difficult nowadays to, to get on reality TV, really, if you want to. Wow. But we're, we're oh, so over you we're oversaturated. Black yeah. Eagle, you could even say uh, YouTube is an extension of reality TV. Oh, absolutely! I mean, look at pe I mean, it's a people make a lot of money on YouTube. Look at, look at yeah. the Paul brothers, Logan and sure. whatever his name. Look, look at look at uh, all these uh, reaction channels, like. Even the Fine Brothers react. That's more. Well, like, people don't watch television per se. 
anymore. Oh. They everything is on their computer or their their phone or whatever you, device. They have. In a way, YouTube has replaced the TV. Sure. Well, face you know. Because you could you could type in whatever you want to watch, and it shows up like that. So mm. yeah, and. Even YouTube, YouTube, you know, YouTube the movie channels YouTube. where you can watch stream Black movies Eagle. all day. I'm Black sorry, Eagle. go ahead. YouTube has YouTube TV and YouTube music. So, cool. like, you don't sure. even need to go buy albums anymore. You can go to YouTube music or Spotify yeah. or whatever you stream. Or you, or you give it five years, and every person logging into any YouTube channel is going to have their own virtual reality. It, you know, we've become, here's what I, how I see it. We've all become so isolated in our lives, our personal lives, that our main interaction is through an electronic device. With, can with I ask you a question, Black Eagle? Strangers. Sure. Black Eagle, could I ask you a question? Sure. Um, when you go out with your family and stuff like that, are you, do you have your phone with you? No, I, I don't allow it when I when I go out. Because with, I've seen you know, a lot of people, even friends, family, and stuff like that, when they're in the same room, they're like mm. typing. Like, there's no interaction anymore between. Right. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, Gordon. My best friend and I, I would say, I don't know nine months out of the year we we get together every afternoon aunt she has this great log cabin we get together for coffee tea whatever and um she does and she, she does not even own a cell phone she still has a rotary phone and um she, her she does have like a i don't know what what are those things the smaller versions of a computer what are they like um tablet where she can she can log in for her grandkids which live wherever but she literally she does not know what youtube is she doesn't know she doesn't do facebook you know she doesn't even play games on the on the tablet no 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 oh, you hear that? i'm sorry yeah oh there so we are. she just has she just has landline. That's it. That's it. That's it. Did society go back to that, like where we had a separate TV, a separate phone, a separate ca separate cameras, separate music devices, like a Walkman stereo system, and so like, should we go back to being that way, or should we in, or should we basically embrace? the future but do it in a balanced way right i think on a global scale nobody is going to stop the progression of technology um it's just so might as well just embrace it whatever you know it's a, i'm guessing it's a personal thing I, I don't know too too many people who don't say okay occasionally i need to log off or this is just too much but I'll tell you what, the people that I've spoken with, it's not, I mean, it's not that easy to, especially when you become involved in a, you know, you log in. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's an addiction. I just think it's part of everyday life. You come home, you turn on your. You yeah, I'm talking. Of you, you log off of YouTube and stuff like that and don't ever come to, you're going to be Jones and. You're going to go, okay, I wonder what Jason's going to be, or I wonder what Turtle is like. You're going to log I mean, back I'm, in and you're going to. little thing going with the wackadoodle over there and wherever yeah. she is. And uh, it's like, yeah. darling, log off. If, you know, if your whole life is consumed with the drama, you know, if your life is so consumed with the drama on YouTube, it, I mean, it, to me, it just, or, it's a no brainer. Or whatever, yeah. or whatever platform streaming platform you <clears throat> go by like even facebook yeah. Yeah. instagram x farming you know, on his twitter like, yeah it doesn't matter what platform like if you're jonesing 
it means you had too much and you need to go. Or if you're taking things so personally, I, myself, yeah. I don't take things personally. I really, truly don't. It's nothing personal to anybody. But, you know, if I lost my, my phone tomorrow, you know, I'm, you know, it's nothing personal, but I'm going to be okay. <laughs> if, I mean, I hope everybody has good news. You'll find other ways to communicate. Well, no, what I'm saying is, uh, you know, I mean, I hope everybody has good, um, you know, whatever. If they even think about Black Eagle because she's not here anymore, maybe they will, maybe they won't. If they do, they'll be like, oh, that was cool that we, you know, knew Black Eagle back when she was around. But, um, you know, I would hope that people aren't like, wouldn't take it personally if all of a sudden I'm not showing up. I mean, I've seen interactions where people take it personally if, if someone doesn't, I don't know. It just, yeah. Yeah, I'd get See, I, I, like with my disability, I'm like on the spectrum of autism. So I crave, I sort of crave routine. Like when I, with Turtle or with Jason or whatever and stuff, it's <laughs> part of my routine. Like Ooh. if that gets interrupted, I yeah. start to like, going, oh shit. Like, it's not me taking it personally, personally, just I can't. Yeah, I, mean, I don't be good with that. I don't, I don't, sure. Routine. Well, like, you know, I mean, I've worked in the field with. Yeah. I, um, yeah, I mean. Like, I'm not full autistic. I just have some tendencies and sometimes. When I'm getting into the groove of things like routines, like, and if it gets cut off or interrupted or whatever, like, it's like, okay. Well, the I, on the other side of that, Gordon, I would push you to actually yourself so that to to log off for you know and give yourself a break so that when and if that ever happens. It's not. It doesn't totally disrupt your life. I mean, I don't know. Am I the only one that it's nice not to? It, I mean, not not to know what everybody in our community is 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 doing or saying. It's. I don't know. It's, re it's I not like just it. that. It's not just that. Like when my Facebook was hacked, uh, my original Facebook was hacked when my computer broke and so like i felt like i was like okay i'm lost help me like because of See, my disability you, time year, I just, I, um, yeah i myself personally gordon this time of year i'm um, i'm on the computer a lot more than i am when my season starts and it and i do feel the disconnect for a while but then all of a sudden it's like wow i haven't you know i haven't been logging into youtube or whatever and it it's like ah uh, you know i really don't miss it it's not just the youtube like facebook like i need my facebook to keep in mm -hmm. touch yeah. with family and friends that are in it. like i don't use facebook as like to post uh, meaningless things. I use Facebook as like a free long distance phone call. Well, there you go. You know, I mean, yeah, I, I totally get that. Um, yeah. Like I'll look through, like I'll look through people's posts and I'd post a good morning message every now and then, but most of the thing, time, Gordon. I just use the messenger. Sure. Messenger just to talk to right. people. But here's the, here's the thing, Gordon, that I've found that I'll have somebody on Facebook. Maybe I went to school with them or college or whatever, and um, and I post on their thing or keep track of what they're doing or whatever. You know, however the internet. Oh, right, right. Right, right. But then I'll be at the grocery store or the mall or wherever. And you'll bump into um, them. 
and no, the people won't even look at you. They'll, yeah. you know, that they've seen you. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so do I go now and say hello? It's like you, you know, people are avoiding each other like the plague when when they're out on the street or per se. Oh, it was and worse when COVID. It was probably worse. When, it was probably worse when COVID hit. Like, okay, we have an excuse to be like mm. antisocial because COVID. <laughs> I got a T-shirt that said, yeah, uh, that gave, "I'm loving that COVID because I hate people." No, no, I'm just, I'm just trying <laughs> to say, like, for some, I'm just trying to say for some people that gave them an excuse, like, finally we could be antisocial because of COVID. Like, finally yeah. I could stay into my home and just yeah. order stuff and have it delivered to my door without me yeah. looking at the delivery well, you guy. Know, I mean, before COVID, you used to see people bump into each other in the grocery store and you'd sit there and you'd shoot the shit for 10, 15, 20 minutes. You don't see that anymore. You just don't see it. You yeah. see people, people, who, go, people, no, people no, no. who go out on dates are bringing their phone. That's bizarre too. But you'll be standing in line, okay, with somebody that you know, three or four people ahead of you. You know that they see you. You see them. But nobody makes eye contact. It's just weird. I, I think our culture is really right. fucked, to be honest with you. And uh, I, I, I worry like, about my grandkids. Like, maybe we should eliminate technology. Not technology. Like, like, what, like whether we should or we shouldn't, it's not going to stop. It's only getting... It's yeah. only going to get worse or in what some people yeah. would consider better. some people make their livelihood off of technology um yeah you, you just can't you know it's a freight train that you that there's absolutely going to be like, no like I, I could see facebook getting the foot in the door but you still have to if you meet each other in personally you still have to actually meet each other like facebook could be good for getting the foot in the door or with youtube like what we're doing here on Streamyard or youtube it's a good way to get the foot in the door like say you if say i came to you your state or your city as a vacation and i actually mm. saw you and recognized who you look like and saw you i go hey it's black eagle or whatever your name is and yeah i'll shake your hand and we'll go out for coffee like well, I've had I've met one person that I met on YouTube, and she, it was great. And but you it know, uh, but he's the thing, Gordon. Yeah, our relationship developed off of YouTube. We didn't. See? We met on YouTube, and then we had similar things in common, and we ended up getting right. to know each other. And uh, I'm, like I'm saying, I'm saying like. Technology could be a good thing because it gets the foot in the door for eventually physical interaction. Like it's like knock on the door, see if anybody's home. Then if it's all good, we. I know, we, but uh, even even if you need that, if that's what you need to actually get you to interact with society, to me, again, that's that just shows like you the you, state you of saw, the If you saw me on the streets, Black Eagle, would you interact with me? Like, if would you say hi and how are you and stuff like that, or would you walk right past? If me? I knew it was you, Gordon, of course I would. <laughs> um, I don't meet people. I do actually, you know, have. I mean, I work with the public. I deliver yeah. lobster. I, you know, whatever. It's. Um, I'm just saying, as our culture, you know, it. Um, I just think we're fucked, and I think it's only getting worse. And Are you um, about so society, we're fucked. Yeah. And look what we're teaching the young people. Uh, look at the kids, like kids nowadays. They don't even go outside and play anymore. You don't see they're, people. They're stuck no. inside playing their video games. Because they can't get them. It's not that black and white, you know. It's not. Okay. I, I just but, don't see as many kids out. But you, but yeah. I can't say that definitively that you don't see kids. Your generation, out 
Black Eagle, your generation was you come home when the streetlights came on. Yeah. Yeah. And then you snuck out the window after. Hey, you did. Yeah. <laughs> That's did very play. exciting. You did it too, Jason? <laughs> no, I don't remember doing that. I mean, we lived in the middle of nowhere. There was nothing there, you know. We didn't do that. Oh, too. my God. Black One Eagle, time. I'm trying to say we're, we fucked the youth. We fucked up the youth because. Oh, you know, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I don't. I'm not trying to come off. It, it, it is what it is. I think we're evolving, not in necessarily a good way, yeah. but I think we're that devolved. they're staying we're inside. We're evolving. Yeah, that it, could be evolved. true, but I, but I think as far as what the current, the future could hold at this point, being inside more may not be a bad thing because yeah. we don't know what's going to happen with the climate. We don't know what's going to happen with nuclear war, things like that. It could be that humans are learning to live differently but because of something right, that's coming up yeah. we don't know about. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for right now, for right now, we should encourage the kids to go out and play, get bruised up and scrape. Like right now, like well, we still can. I I don't agree. I don't I don't think it's. Then you'll be unless I lived in the country. Antisocial kids. Wow. That's okay. I don't care if my kids yeah. are antisocial. I don't. If I lived in the country, I would agree with you. Yeah. Like. When's the last time you saw a group of kids just ride their bikes together just for fun? Oh, they do in my neighborhood. They ride bikes out here, outside a lot here. And they do on Stranger Things, the TV show. <laughs> I, When's the last time? Hey, I'm in Canada. I haven't seen the last time anybody played street hockey here in Canada. Oh. Like, like break out a well, game of... Gordon, Gordon, here's the thing, okay? Again, it's not so black and white. You know, to say that no kids ever go out anymore, I mean, that's not true. And it is not so to one side that, uh, you know, every kid I understand on the that, planet is, is, is becoming less frequent. It's becoming less frequent. Yeah. It is. Okay. It is. Absolutely, it is. Like, and like, I'd rather, I'd rather my kid go out play uh, street hockey than video game hockey because at least they're getting a little exercise. Mm. Well, they have virtual reality games now where they yeah. can actually move around. But you're still um, stuck inside. Yeah, yeah but that's because you think the outside's it. healthier. It may yeah. not always be healthier for humans. Yeah. I'm in Canada. It's like... Or the Canada, Canadian about then. It's so beautiful up there. I don't know why people wouldn't be outside every day. <laughs> well, what about the Canadian wildfires? We got, we got a lot of smoke from that, you know? Yeah, yeah. but... Right now, there's no fires burning, and it's like the there's fire. Fire. I think there needs to be a balance, and yeah. you know, I mean, do kids are raising. Camp? Do still do people still go out camping? Sure. Yeah. Is there sure. still a Boy Scout? There's still Girl Scouts and stuff like that. No. That's crazy, though. I don't like yeah. that. No. Is no. Like, no. is there an option? Like I'm just I'm just trying to ask like is there other options? For kids of course to... there are, there are. There's still you know, my kids play t. My grandkids are in t-ball and soccer and. Ooh. But then that again, could be true. That's a good point. They could want us inside. Organized so sports has gotten yeah. so expensive. Yeah. I'll be right Organized sports has gotten so expensive lately too. Like to put your kid into football, baseball, hockey. You gotta pay an arm and a leg. Yeah, yeah. Oh, check this out with the son of Victor. I couldn't afford to put my kids in uh, Boy Scouts because they wanted like one hundred and eighty dollars for really? a, a uniform and something. And I, I mean, I had no money for that. But oh, that's great. The more I found out that they were covering up records of people, I, I wouldn't want them in it now. Oh wow! But, but I'm just saying, Victor. like, you, it teaches yeah. your kids how to survive. Well, check this out. Check this out. The Sol- yeah, I guess. The Son of Victus was saying the powers that be want to sick, weak, sick, and stupid. The Guardian and Daily Mail just published articles claiming working out and getting sunshine are both unhealthy, and hiking, swimming, and and hiking are all racist. How is that racist? That's weird. How's that racist, though? It's basically society saying get inside, stay inside. Don't ever come outside again. Yeah. Oh. How you doing, Ken? How you doing good? Like, like, 
my generation, I'm Generation X, and we, I still yearn for the days of the 80s and 90s where we could still go outside and yeah. get bruised up and scraped up. And, like, I still want that. Like, nowadays, Generation seems like they don't want that. They want to Camping. be stuck with their technology all day. Do you have kids? Uh, sadly, I don't have any kids, but I'm, I, don't have any kids I see either. a lot of other people's kids and even my sister's kids, like they mostly play video games all day. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't have any other, kids other than school dirt and vi their video game. Like even in schools, like there's so much technology nowadays, like they don't even need to go to school anymore. They could zoom. They do, they do have online schooling and stuff, I guess. Like I do like I rather part. like where where did where did the time go like, where we could send people to the school buildings and interact with kids their own age? Yeah, and not like that no more. You know? Oh, no. no. That is everything's different now. You know something and yeah. Black Eagle, it's not so black and white, but but back. the gray areas, the gray areas yeah, are black. gray. Yeah. Hi, Black Eagle. Like, well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I had, I'm just telling you guys what I'm observing. Yeah. Hi, Black Eagle. Like, I miss so those days. Yeah. I miss those days of, like, uh, people actually physically interacting with each other uh, and well, getting to know each other and maybe going out on dates and maybe like i don't think there's anybody that goes out on date true dates anymore like speaks out of the house and goes to make out uh -oh, stuff. Okay. Uh oh okay what's that black eagle i said of course people go out on dates yeah that's is what I'm saying. Make, it's not, is there still places like Makeout Point where two teenagers could uh, get? I don't know. Get in court. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying it's not. Um, you know, it's not so completely one sided. No. We have but, over seven no, million there, people. The Kids are not are, not figuring out how to yeah, socialize. Eagles, Teenagers the gray areas are, getting darker are not not darker. figuring out how to mate. I mean, there's. Yeah. There's no issue with us having enough humans. Yeah. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah. All right. But do we need smartphones in our hands all day, every day? But what does it matter if we do? If we have them in our hands yeah. all day, every day, what will it matter? Yeah. yeah. You That's can't. It, nowadays, it's it, you need it. You need it for every facet of life. Okay. Applying for job applying to school i mean every facet of your life if you're not i mean my, like i said my girlfriend who doesn't do any technology she doesn't need it um you know she's 60 years old she doesn't it's not going to change her life one way or another now you know kids my sons you know one of them they're they're out of the marines they're in college they're you know they all their communication with their professors, with everything is, it, they need to have a device. And if they don't have one, uh, it, you know, it makes things really annoying. My kids have to have a work phone on them when they're at work. Right. And then they have their own phone too. So yeah. they have double phones. I just have a landline. That's all I got. I have a landline. I live in a, you, I'm you got your cell phone. In you, just, no, I just, I mean, I have to live in a dead zone. So I just have a landline, you know. Yeah. Oh, a, so you just use your cell phone as a camera? No, no, no. I use, uh, I just have a regular camera. I don't have a cell phone at all. Oh, I had okay. one a so, long time ago. Yeah. I live in a so dead basically zone. Basically, you're on a laptop right now. Yeah. I like my laptop. Same with me. Like, when I, a lot. this is the only phone I have. Yeah, it's one of those old timey flip phones. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. I had a, I had a flip phone for a really long time. Finally, everybody was getting so annoyed. You know, my kids all pitched in and got me a, a smartphone or 
I was like, yeah. uh but, all, but this is all I need. All yeah. I need right. is to call a cab, call 911, call family members, call, like, I don't need a smartphone. Like, I even, I don't even like the touch screens. I like the feel of a physical button oh. where you, when you push on a button, oh. you feel that click. With yes. a, I've tried the smartphone, like, and you don't feel a click. You don't, you don't feel it pushing in. So, oh, I remember, I remember watching I, this I mean, thing. With my disability, okay, my disability, Gordon, Gordon, I like the tactileness. Okay, what's that black eagle? What's no, no, go, go ahead. Okay, okay. I was just going to say, I remember when um, my kids were shown, a, or there was a, my kids, wasn't my kids, I was watching something where they showed kids a rotary phone you know, like a regular telephone, they did not know what it was. They were like, what is that? Oh, you know? had, we had one of those. We had a rotary phone. And then as far as the flip phone, I got some kind of flip off phone and that, that was something completely different. Fuck you phone? <laughs> yeah, fuck you phone. <laughs> no, I had a rotary phone. We had a rotary phone a long time ago. Sure. I remember the last time I, well, we, we moved. I think the last I used it was when I was, uh, I'm from Germany, and uh, that last time I ever used it, though. I mean, because we moved out. Well, my dad that moved. I don't know what happened to the rotary phone. We never used it again, though. My dad was a real yeah. prick when we were in high school. He put a lock on the rotary phone so oh, that really? you could pull it. Fucking oh, asshole. Yeah. yeah that sucks. He, was, he was sick and tired of the hey, phone. Black Eagle, unless it was an emergency, you ain't using it. <laughs> Oh, he was, he would, his head would fall off with us on the phone all the time. And oh, you'd wow. have it weird and you'd have it, you'd try to have some privacy. So you'd like be pulling the phone off the wall, trying to take it away as far as you could to get privacy. And, oh, uh, wow. That's, yeah. Is that true? Is that true? AT&T doesn't <laughs> offer landlines anymore. AT&T's customers just got released to the dark web. Somebody hacked them. Oh, really? Which I think oh. is funny. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's, I that's, like, that's, this is why I think uh, we should go back to the old ways. Like, even with physical media, like nobody buys CDs, records, cassettes. Mm -hmm. Like, I I love physical media because you could actually touch. You could turn it and read the read the music. Uh, the See, song that's was, you could read the I think song record music. players are making a big comeback right now. Yeah, actually making that's vinyl. Thank God. That's still around. That's still around. Vinyl's still around making a comeback. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I prefer physical media than virtual media because with physical media, it's yours. I'll tell you what you can't find nowadays is an 8-track tape player. Yeah. <laughs> I, eight -track, I had 8-track tape player. And remember on my store, and then they had like a, a – uh, adapter, you play cassettes, you plug it right in, you play cassettes in there too. Right, right, right. Does anybody that. still does anybody still have a VHS? We do somewhere. The kids yeah, have I have one. I don't work. I don't think it work. It might still work. I haven't used it in a while. Or Betamax. No, Betamax. I don't have Betamax. You know what? Even back then, I remember with my kids when they would watch, would get when like the Lion King came out or Beauty and the Beast, they would watch those movies, you know, they wanted to watch them a thousand times a day. Yeah. And it was like the beginning of it where plop in a video, put your kid on the couch and, you know, yeah. there it was. Right. And here's the thing, Black Eagle, I miss the video stores, like going to the video, like I miss those days where you could, on every Friday you go to a video store. You I'm pretty sure you, you go to the convenience store and buy yourself snacks. Uh, it it used to be like a special thing, but now with now with Gordon, streaming, Gordon, 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 like Gordon. Netflix, okay. Disney Gordon. Plus, it's all right. It's, it's still special for my son. Like we still make yeah. popcorn. We still sit down in front of the TV and we play a movie. And yes, we pick yeah. it from a virtual menu, yeah. but it's still special to him when we watch a video yeah. together. But I'm saying, you for, I'm not saying for you guys, I'm saying for the rest of society, like. You, there's still plenty of blockbuster out there, you know. Of course, everything is in CD form, but, yeah. you know, it's. 
that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's not so completely, if, if it really is personal preference. Like I said, I got a girlfriend who doesn't do any technology whatsoever. Yeah. Um, but she also, you know, heats her cabin with a, with a wood stove. And oh wow! I think that's nice. I would love to be able to live like that. I can't because you know right now I'm, I'm have my kids, but yeah. I think it'd be so nice to have everything really that, calm and live out in the woods and just be like more well, you know, in romantic, touch with nature. Right. It's romantic in the beginning, but when you're relying on on chopping wood, stacking wood, making sure your fire is there all day, if you go to work and it you know it it becomes. Uh, daunting after yeah. a while the glamour of it because i've often said to her if you want to go and spend time with your grandkids for the winter or whatever i'll i'll come and she's like you have no idea what you're asking because her driveway's got to be plowed you know it really it's a lot of work does oh, wow. it have but, to be plowed if you stay home all winter well i mean you certainly want to make sure if emergency vehicles or anybody coming to, you know, like I said, it's, it sounds glamorous, but when you're living it day in, day out, it's a, uh, it's a whole different, different ball game. But, in Ontario, in Ontario, most people yeah. for the long weekends go to the cottage. To the what? Cottage. cottage. Oh, 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 sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, where I live, uh, most of, my neighbors are seasonal people. Like, yeah, there's a big there's a big cottage country community in Ontario where everybody goes to the cottages every long weekend just to unwind. Well, where I live, Gordon, people have these massive homes that they come to maybe two or three times a year, and they have enough money. I always wonder what what do you have to do to make so much money where you can own a home, pay taxes on a home that you very rarely ever go to. It's like, what do they do? Like, how do you make that kind of money to be able to live like that? But they, obviously, yeah. most people do. Are they politicians? Or even, or even if it's like passed down in the family, even if you have a home that's paid for, a summer home or whatever. You still got to pay taxes on it. You still have to maintain it. Land taxes. You got to also pay the utilities, like your water, right, electricity, yeah. gas. Yeah. Well, like on our wharf, we have a rental unit, which is a pretty good sized rental unit. It sleeps 10 people. Um, and we rent it out in the off season. Somebody will rent it out for, you know, whatever, September through May or June or whatever. Like an and, Airbnb? Uh, well, yeah, I yeah. mean, not so much an Airbnb, but somebody will rent it for the entire off season. And then they have to be out by summer because we rent it out by the week in the summertime. And, you know, that pays, you know, that pays the taxes on the property for the year, just renting it out for the summer. So. But then again, you got to be a landlord, so you got to make sure everything is still working. Sure, sure. Well, it, it's attached to the to the wharf where we live. But uh, yeah. anyway, yeah, six one half dozen of the other, right? Yeah, yep. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, listen, it has been great talking with you all, Carrie. It's been nice to be able to say hello to you. Like I said, I when I heard you up on Richard, I thought I really like her. Yeah, I like how you, how you handled him. You're great. <laughs> you guys are great. Black Eagle, nice talking with you too. Nice it's time, you Black Eagle. Nice oh, time, Carrie. Okay, are much love. Much love. love. Okay, bye. Bye, bye but can you kick me off, Jason? I don't know how to get oh. out of here. Okay, well, let me go back to Black Eagle. Okay, I'll kick you off just gently. I'll kick see you around. around. Okay, bye. Right, you'll show her to the door. You'll show her right. to the door. Yeah, okay, here we go. So who's who's with the pink trees? Like, what's your name? That's uh, Carrie Bean. Well, the bean I is a joke. Important. Oh, the bean is a joke. Just Carrie. Okay. Yeah, Carrie. Okay. So on the towel, just say Carrie instead of Carrie Bean. 
Uh, that's a joke because there's this lady that calls me Butterbean when she's mad at me. So oh, okay. somebody oh. who was somebody created an account to tease her called Butterbean the other day. Oh, and really? they saw me in a chat and they called me Kerry Bean. And I just was oh, laughing okay. at that so much that I oh, had okay. to make my name for a while. You know who okay. Butterbean is, like, don't you? The boxer. Yeah. Um, I don't know if she's referring to the boxer or to Beans because she lives yeah. in the country, but yeah. uh, she's just trying to be mad at me. But I still yeah. like her. I still think she's funny. Oh, that's cool. She, But we fight a lot. She calls me names and stuff. Oh, no, that's not good. Sisters. Well, <laughs> it's interesting, though. She's an interesting person to argue with. And then... <laughs> yeah. She understands I have health issues, so it's it's nice fighting with her because occasionally she'll just be like, I know you don't know what you're talking about, Carrie. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to see her in action. I've shared her before on my wall, Jason. I don't she hasn't oh, yeah. been around in a while, but if, if she comes back, I'll I'll share her and you can go watch her in action. Okay, cool. Well. Okay, cool. But I think they're gonna be kind of different because I go back to work tomorrow, so Oh yeah, you won't have time for YouTube anymore. Well, I mean, I'll still do YouTube, but I mean, it'll be a little bit different. I gotta get back. I mean, I won't be on. You're leaving yeah. us? <laughs> well, no, I'll still be around. I mean, I might not be on panels as much as usual. You know what I mean? But I'll do what I can. You know, that's all. I'm playing with you, Jason. I know, I know, I know. Let's check out. No, well, I, hope, I mean, just hopefully tomorrow will be a good day at work, and then we'll just go from there. You know. Yeah, and yeah. if you hop on uh, turtles, you hop on turtles. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I'd definitely hop on Turtle. I mean, if I can't. Turtle can, wasn't you know. even Turtle barely did a live last night. She but just, she did a 10-minute live stream, and then she uh, popped up towards the end of my chat, you know. You know, just on, not on, um, not on the thing right there, you know. That's or, cool. But I think she was, I think she had family over for. Oh, well, yeah, well, she slept, she slept for a long time, though, and then she slept some more. I didn't know. I mean, because I went to bed early because I didn't know what was going to happen with work and stuff. So hey, I went to bed early. Got like, up. Yeah. Hey, she's like the proclaimers. If I could sleep 500 yeah. hours, I could sleep 500 yeah. more. Oh, man. Oh, you'd be really woman who sleeps yeah. 1,000 yeah. hours. <laughs> yeah. So, how have you been, Carrie? You've been doing good, though? Yes, thank you. I have to go to the bathroom. I don't mean to say that in public, but I'm going to mute oh. you and be back in okay. a minute, okay? Okay, no problem, no problem. I don't know how to say it politely. Okay, I'll be right okay, back. Okay, no problem. Yeah, just go potty. That's okay. Oh, well, she's a very nice other, lady. Guess who was doing a live stream last night? Who? Tanya. Oh, she did. I saw, I was on for a little bit. I, I mean, just on for a little bit because I went to bed. I just said hi and stuff. That's it. I didn't go on panel and I like that because I had tried to get some sleep. And I tried to go back she into my your was normal fighting schedule. with this. She was fighting with this person named Goat Puncher or something like Goat that. Puncher. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't see the whole thing. I mean, I went on and she was having music on. Then I, she was having music. I think she was sleeping after that. But I mean, no, it's is cool. I've always been friends. She doesn't stuff. go live much anymore, does she? No, I mean, she didn't go live. She used to. It it's getting less frequent. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Well, I mean, is she, you know, do you think she's just probably sick of it? Like, I don't think she's sick of it though, because she goes when she goes live, she goes for live for a long period of time though. So I don't think she's sick of it. I just so like she, you won't see me. So she just I, saves enough energy to go yeah. to to do the marathon lives. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, well, she's she has a paid membership to that thing because she would like. Because you're allotted, like, I mean, because when I first started StreamYards, there was no limitations. And then they wanted people to pay for their program, pay and pay and pay. And I never did. I just kept going live. And then they limited it to 20 hours a month. So, I mean, Tanya would like, um, I'm not saying it bad about Tanya. She'd probably exhaust that, like, in one live stream, you know. I'm, I'll probably be back to just doing lives, like, on a weekend or just going on panels and stuff, you know. It would just be different after today. You know, but I mean, I'll still be doing my same thing. So if Turtle asks where I'm at, just uh, tell her what happened, you know. It'd just probably be less for you. Yeah. But I mean, I'll, it'll, be, oh, it'll be cool. I'll still be around. I'm not, like, leaving you guys or nothing like that. No, no, no. I I'm just saying, to, like, you got to live your life. <laughs> I know. I just got back. Well, just with work. I just got back in my routine. Everything else is normal. You know, I just got to go like, back in my regular routine like I used to. 
you, you, you know? still work? I was laid off for a while. And then I got sick. And I'm going. I'm supposed to be going back to work tomorrow. So I, I was off work retired. tomorrow. I no, I, that'd be that'd be awesome. No, no, I'm going back to work tomorrow. So hopefully everything will be all right. There, I know they need me. So where do you work? Uh, I want to say a factory. I don't want to say where I work at. You know, I don't want to dox myself. You know, is it food industry? Uh I don't just making stuff. We just make stuff. It's not food industry though. That's all. Because nothing, you do a lot of fancy. you do a lot of food videos, you should be working in the food industry. Well, yeah. people. I probably, get, <laughs> well, I probably get, if I was around food that much, I'd probably get tired of it. You know, if I work at this donut place after a while, I'd probably get tired of as crazy. I'd probably get tired of donuts after a while. You know, where I don't play or like. I wonder like how that, that guy. I wonder how that guy during the eighties for a Dunkin' Donut commercial. Time to make the donuts. <laughs> well, he's an that. actor. Though. I would love to do that. I'd love to do that acting stuff, you know. That'd be okay. So he wasn't actually the owner of Dunkin' Donuts? No, he's just, uh, just an actor. Just like that guy who said, don't squeeze the Charmin. That's just an actor it's for Charmin uh, paper towels. But, I mean, that's because their mascot, we, though. We we have an actor up here that does uh, the A&W. Yeah. Uh, hamburger stuff, uh, like yeah. we, in Canada, A and W is a restaurant. Yeah, and we serve burgers and so. But yeah. he he exclusively does A and W commercials. Yeah. So is that? So if he does that, doesn't that mean he's technically an employee of A and W? Yeah. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah. Like if he's just exclusively doing A and W commercials. I wonder if that makes them technically an employee of A and W. Maybe I don't know. I mean, well, they, I mean, they're on their. They work for them, I guess. You know. Same with Flo from Progressive. I didn't see her do any other shows or TV or movies or other thing or other commercials except for the Progressive. Yeah. Well, she might have done other acting thing. I don't know. I'd have to look, but like I she is. Like I looked her up, and she is a comedian, and that yeah. her Flo is not her real name, but I'm yeah. just saying her character name Flo. Like, but yeah. it seems like I mean that's like you find like a dream job, and then you know, keep going with it. Just like you don't see Drew Carey doing a lot of stuff now because he's the host of Price is Right now, and that's like one of the best gigs in uh, Hollywood, though, being a host of the game show. Yeah, you don't even see him host. You don't even see him post whose line it is anyway. No. I never really, I watched that, that show a little bit. I never watched now. it show that much, you know. Yeah. But I mean that was that was I think it was probably because it could be done on the cheap. Because it was done on the cheap though. I mean, you know, it just had a couple of people just improving stuff, you know. It, it was based on of a it was based off of a British show with British the same name. Show, yeah. Yeah, just improv stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And true. improv is Improv is funny. As Drew fun. Oh, the Drew, Drew Carey show is good. I mean, I was a big fan of Drew Carey because I remember seeing him, his bit like when I was in the army, you know, and he was funny then. And then eventually he was on a show called The Good Life that didn't last that long, but was funny. And then you didn't see him. In the, and then the Drew Carey show came up and he really became popular after that show. I, yeah, think, it's very true, I show. think it's he did his first. TV sitcom with Home Improvement. He was the guy that scraped off animals off of the streets. Oh, I, I never, I never really watched Home Improvement. I remember him from uh, his like uh, comedy specials on like HBO and stuff. Yeah, remember him on the Johnny Carson show, like when he did. I probably did. Yeah, you know. but like I said, I was in the army at that time. But he's he lost a lot of weight too, Drew Carey. Oh yeah, he's not that he's not like. And people have a problem with that because he's not that fat, jolly person anymore. He's well, I mean, he's still the same guy. I mean, I th I still think he's entertaining. And then he had like laser eye eye surgery, so it's up uh, his um. Uh, I need glasses anymore. Yeah, I mean, he he, was, he had glasses, he but there's no lenses in them. Yeah, that's yeah. part of his persona. He has glasses with no lenses. That's that, part of his like Weird Al. Weird Al used to wear glasses and have a mustache. Yeah, but he changed well, his appearance. Yeah, yeah. You want to keep it up appearances like the British show. And uh yeah, like with Drew Carey. Like I love that show. I, yeah, I don't think I like I show too. 
Jason, I don't think Drew Carey is a good host. Like, apparently CBS thinks he's a good host for The Price is Right, but he's too dry. Like, Bob Barker, yeah. like, I know there's, I know there will never be a person like Bob Barker ever again, yeah. but yeah. I think Drew, with Drew Carey, it's not as magical anymore. Yeah. Wow. I mean, he's like, well, I mean, he's he was like, it seems like he's always in a rush. Like, he's not yeah. even interacting with the contestants. Yeah. He's just like, come on, let's get this. Like, come on, let's get this. Like, yeah. Well, originally, Bob Barker, originally with Bob Barker, Barker, he would have a conversation with yeah. the, with the contestants, yeah. with the audience members yeah. and stuff. But originally, just, Bob Barker is, wanted uh, Rosie O'Donnell to be the host. That would have been awful. He wanted Rosie O'Donnell to be the host. That would have been horrible. At least Drew Carey looks like a talk show host. You know what I mean? Drew Carey looks I mean, like he's always in a rush. Yeah, well, that's his mannerism, I guess, you know. What do you think, Carey? Sorry. What do you think about Drew Carey? Do you like think he's good host on Price is Right? I haven't watched it. Oh, really? I the thought Price he was is... funny on Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yeah, he was. I'm mean, oh. he became he became the replacement host when Bob Barker left on uh on uh yeah. Price is Right. You know. I haven't by watched the way, it. I'm not sure if it would uh, it's but, okay. By the way, you know you know the game Plinko for the Price is Right, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a cool game. Well, they were doing they were doing a commercial with Plinko. They had fishing line in the Plinko thing where yeah. it always land the chip always landed in the in the thousand dollar thing. Yeah, they forgot to take the fishing line out when it came time to do the show show. Yeah. So the contestant they had was keep getting like the thousand. Oh, that'd be so awesome. They, they, they had a little confab, like, and go, like, what do we do? What do we do? Like, they let her keep the money. Like, they let her keep it, like, but they refilmed it and made it look more organic than, yeah. Like, oh, that's but they idea. let, like, they yeah. said, we'll let you, because it was an error on their part. So yeah. They said, we'll let you keep the money. Just, we'll refilm it and, you play normally. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. And yeah. whatever money you was played the normal way gets added on. To the, yeah, well, that'd be nice because I could use the cash, you know. You can yeah. use the cash, Jay Carey, you know. <laughs> we could use the cash, Carey, you know. But they decided <laughs> just let her keep the money because it was a mistake like on their part. Out. Hey, they, they decided yeah. to let her keep the money because it was a mistake on their part. They yeah, I mean, they can't, yeah. Yeah, that'd be messed up. I like making you laugh too, Carrie. You just have a nice laugh. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm kind of sleepy today, but I've been You're sleepy. Talking. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm a little sleepy too, but I keep going off a little bit longer. So, I mean, I won't be able to do live streams like this, or at least on a weekday and stuff. And I might be doing like, I don't know. It's just weird because I can get back in the regular schedule and stuff, you know? Yeah, it may be hard the first week or two, but. Do you have inserts for your shoes and stuff? Do you stand? I'm get. I'm not yes. trying to get you to reveal your Yeah, job. yeah, yeah. I stand. I got brand new shoes, so hopefully that'll help too. But no, I got, I got inserts my... and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got my son some inserts because they, they work yeah. on their feet. And they said that it helps a lot. Oh, cool. I have plantar fasciitis, so I need inserts on my shoes. Yeah, I got. You I really got... Gordon, That's painful. Yeah. I got. You know what? Well, I mean, I work on concrete a lot, so I got to be careful too. You know, oh, okay. Yeah, it's messed don't, up. It's the way don't it is. reveal and, too much, though, Jason. Okay. Yeah, I want guys I like our guys our size, Jason. Yeah, but I admit it, I'm I'm on the heavy side. Yeah, yeah. When we're on our feet, it wears out a lot. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Maybe Jason. you should get a desk. Maybe you should get a desk job where you sit and talking on answering the phones and. Type in, yeah, or you, well, don't, want a, or you, you don't want yeah. a desk. No, I mean, it's all like regular, regular physical work and stuff, you know, but it'll be okay. I just gotta get back and swing things. Could you imagine, could you imagine yourself working in a place like office space? Like, yeah, I'm gonna need you here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not like that. That'd be pretty, that'd be disaster. That was all office politics and stuff, you know. You'd yeah. be like the 
You'd be like that guy with the mustache that that's my staple word. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, I remember that. that from, I like that the TV. Root? I know it's that um, root, it? I can't remember that was that was, I don't know if that's the guy's name. I don't know. That was the guy who did uh, all Bill on uh, King of the Hill, and he was also he was also the boss on his radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the main boss on news radio. Okay, well, I haven't seen news radio. I never really I saw. Know, it. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Yeah. The only time, the only reason why I know news radio so much is because Joe Rogan never shuts up about it. <laughs> oh, really? Joe I don't Rogan Joe was Rogan forever either. Oh, by the Joe way, Rogan. I love, I love Joe Rogan's podcasts and stuff. Like, oh. he, he's a good guy. Like, I even yeah. like him as a stand-up comedian and a UFC yeah. commentator. Well, that's what happened. He was a Sam comedian, and then he hosted Fear Factor, and then I didn't know what he did in any UFC and stuff, you know. Um, with Fear Factor, he quit the show. Yeah. Because they made a contestant drink bull cum. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty gross. <laughs> that's pretty bad. I don't know. I won't want to do that. Oh. <laughs> even said to he even said to he even said to the, to the he even gave the contestant like okay you don't have to do this like you and I can we can just quit like like not yeah. in a like a game show kind of way like yeah. wink you can do he was he was actually appalled by it too like he was like yeah you yeah. got too far you got yeah. too far from yours. yeah <laughs> that's bad Carrie. I don't know. That'd be horrible. Well, every every time they have a show that's based on something being titillating, they're going to have to keep going to extremes to keep the audience's yeah. interest because after a while, the audience has seen everything. But you can only yeah, go get so bored, far. Yeah. You can only go yeah. so far. But you have to keep going further and further, right, Carrie? Yeah, I, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it either. That's kind of, I don't know. If you're, that's bad. If you're that's bad. Bad. If you're, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> that's horrible. Hey, drink it, you dangus. Dangus. <laughs> no, that'd be bad. <laughs> By the way, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, what world do you live in where there's pink trees? <laughs> it's, the world. I just, I've looked up pink forest before on Google and I just uh, downloaded the picture. Or that's cool. I like that photo. Though. That's cool. I like watercolor and I like whimsical trees. And so I like looking at stuff and then it gives me ideas for when I'm painting in my sketchbook yeah. scene. See, this is my, I avatar. think it's cool. I like it. This is your type avatar. of art. Yeah. What is that art? Is that a wolf? It's an Arctic wolf with a guy that looks like he man. Or yeah. Oh. Or like, uh, or Dave Mustaine kind of, or Dave Mustaine. Kind of looks like Dave it's Mustaine. not Dave Mustaine. It's he man. <laughs> Does he not like to say that? <laughs> and now you're like, hey, hey, what, what your avatar think? fits the human thing because you look like fucking Skeletor that yeah, woke up yeah. On but then this is like yeah, like that's like uh, Skeletor after he didn't eat that much. <laughs> that's uh, oh, Otis Ruggis from Guar. That's Skeletor yeah. after he slept the night with Evil Lynn. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, I like making Carrie laugh too. Give them. Nice I, like, I like the way I look better. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Always be happy with yourself, you know. Always be happy with yourself. I'm dancing. Um, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. I mean, sometimes I'm surprised some of those songs got on the radio because they. I mean, it could be misconstrued to being something dirty. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Have you noticed that some ABBA songs, they sound so nice and upbeat and all that, but if you actually read the lyrics, it's like, okay, we're getting deep. Yeah. <laughs> There's like, a lady that uh, covers. Knowing me, like knowing me and knowing you is a breakup song. Knowing right, me, okay. knowing you. Uh -huh. well, yeah. What was that, Carrie? I'm sorry. There's a lady on YouTube. She's adorable. She covers, or she has covered... She'll show 
songs or lyrics from things yeah. that we really liked, like getting physical or something that yeah. when we were kids, we never thought it had any other meaning. Like it just yeah. seemed upbeat. And then she did like a little series covering songs that now that you realize what the lyrics are. And I thought it was funny. Oh, I it's like some, some it's of them like are so dirty. Hey, yeah, it's dirty. like us when Jason, it's like us when we were kids watching yeah. cartoons. Yeah. We did we didn't get the adult humor in the cartoons. We just saw funny pictures. Yeah. Uh crazy colors and yeah. funny stunts. Yeah. We didn't well, like when they talked, we didn't get we the adult humor went over our head when we were kids. Yeah. Now looking back, it like holy shit, they got Yeah, away. it was different. I mean, it was always like implied stuff, you know. And then they had like regular car I mean, you know. But I always liked the reverend humor, like in Rocky and Bowling, because that's stuff I liked. And sometimes I think or, it's funny even now. Looney Tunes. You look at that's Looney Tunes, it's full of adult humor. Yeah. I mean, with it, I mean, but not dirty, though. But I mean, you know, the it stuff can more get dirty at times. Well, for that um, time, yeah. for that time well, it was. Yeah, like, yeah. Bugs yeah. Bunny was dirty? Yeah. For that time. I didn't like, know that. I never thought. I never thought. Bugs Bunny was the first cartoon to show cross dressing. Well, yeah, well, he dressed like a female, though, but I never really thought anything different about, you know. Because we were kids. Yeah, but I mean, I thought it was just silly, though. That's yeah, all. But if you look at it as an adult, like, yeah. holy but shit. He used it, but he used it as, like, to make fun of the other guy. It wasn't like he dug, he dug it, though. I don't think he yeah, liked yeah. it. I, I, know what you, I know what you're saying. Yeah, he went like the into it. Like, Ooh, I like the visual. Yeah. yeah. The visual, like. Yeah. Kids just like, think, oh, he's dressing a funny costume. Yeah, or just yeah. like Milton oh, Burrow. Yeah, yeah. Mil Disney Milton Burrow would is perverted. Yeah, what's that? Disney, the Disney movies when you when they expose how yeah. the the um, animators would put perverted yeah. things that were unnecessary. Yeah, like the rest, like the yeah. rescuers, yeah. like they're like in the original cut. It mm -hmm. was like the what? there was a naked woman in the window when. They were flying by. Like, no, it's not necessary. The animators no. pulled a prank on Walt himself by oh, putting wow. a naked picture of a naked woman in the yeah. window. The I movie, think it's a prank. Yeah. I think it's exposing children to things that yeah. aren't necessary. Like, in yeah. the I mean, I'm just very. But it was like, but yeah, it was just, for, like a, but it was just for a brief second, though. Like, you only saw it for a brief second, but. But it's Adults? liminal, though. It's still, un yeah. it's still un. Yeah, that's no, cool. But it goes over the kids' heads, though, doesn't it? Like it goes, you know. Well, I don't, I don't know. It may have gone over their heads at the time, but just seeing what how disgusting yeah. Disney yeah. probably ended up being, I don't know. I just, yeah. I like, I still like some of the movies and stuff, but I just, yeah. like, if you look at Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, that's so perverted. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Why is it? Did you say perverted? Yeah, he said perverted. Why well, thought it was? <laughs> it's, it's a it's a lady living with seven dudes. Wow, tiny people. You don't think there's yeah. any uh, nookie nookie going on? <laughs> How I would don't. They? They'd yeah. have to use a step stool or something. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I mean, you know, if, if you're thinking like that, any if you're thinking like anything could be dirty. You know what I mean? You know. Yeah, you don't want to be but, so paranoid that it ruins yeah. it. But yeah. I'm just glad that I grew up when I did, and then yeah. I'm glad I had here's kids when I did because yeah, now yeah, with the way wait, wait. Is, it would be yeah, so yeah. hard to. Disney exactly. cleaned up a lot. Right. Disney cleaned up a lot of Brothers Grimm's fairy tales, like <laughs> all the fairy tales that Disney <laughs> were Brothers Grimm. Like, yeah, well, they couldn't have Brothers everything Grimm's in there. Yeah. Fairy tales were dark. Yeah. Well, they said some of the Disney stuff was dark too, you know, with but Bambi and stuff. Yeah. Well, for G-rated movies, though, you know, it still like showed a lot of stuff in it, though, for what it was, you know. Like the Brothers Grimm books, you kids should not read. Right. For sure. Like the original versions of Snow White, the original yeah. versions of of uh, the Littlest Mermaid, like yeah. Like if you read the books, like the Brothers Grimm books and yeah. related, you would think like, holy shit. Disney should not have made movies with these because these yeah. are like tragic. 
Well, yeah. sometimes people's lives were so bad back then yeah. that stories would reflect what kids actually like, lived through. Even like, Hansel, like, and yeah. Yeah. Hansel and Gretel, Hansel and Gretel were so yeah. dark. Yeah. The parents Hans, abandoned Hans them in the black forest of Germany yeah. and stuff like that. Or Hans and Franz. Hans and Franz are here to pump you up. <laughs> Hans and Franz are here to pump you up. <laughs> Man, that Gary, that show. I'm saying yeah, that. I do. Yeah. Hans and Franz. <laughs> they do. Uh, it Jason Dana and Carvey. Gary. It was Dana Carvey and Kevin Nealon, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 They were doing I mean, an impression of Arnold, yeah. weren't they? Like, what kind of? I'm Hans. I'm yeah. Franz. That's from Germany. We're here to pump you up. Well, they're yeah. trying to get like, uh, I know Saturday Night Live is hit and miss. So I didn't review the one from last uh, Saturday night. I probably should have. I didn't. And remember when was... Mike Myers did that German? Uh, yes, yeah, rockets. 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 Yeah. Rockets. I know. I know. Do you remember all that stuff, Carrie? I remember that particular yeah. stuff. Nineties Saturday Night. Yeah, right, that was cool. I liked it when they did like that, uh, like that Germany's Funny Home videos. And one of them was, but they kicked the guy in the crotch and he threw up. <laughs> it was so funny. He got in the way? No, someone, it, it was like a video where like, some guy kicks, kicks the guy's crotch and then the guy throws up. <laughs> oh, no. It was funny. Well, it wasn't real, though. It was just made up. But it was funny to well, show them. They're yeah. doing it. Yeah. Uh, I, I agree. Remember, remember they have Foley? moments, though. Remember, remember when Chris Farley played that Foley guy that lives in a van? Yeah, man, that river. Down by the river. Yeah. I mean, I tell you, the Son of Victus, I mean, there's like there's like moments of inspiration. It's funny. Like, Weekend Update can sometimes be funny. But no, I agree with Ron you. McDonald. A lot of this stuff's not funny. Ron McDonald did a good Weekend Update. Oh, I know. I liked him. My favorite. Yeah. And then I, 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 I heard him. He, yeah. They fired him because he O.J. Simpson. Yeah, O.J. Simpson stuff. Yeah, I mean, I know that Norm McDonald, I think he had a farm. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but Norm McDonald, he has a, his brother up here in Canada is, yeah. uh, was a journalist for the CBC. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So they got TV that's in their cool. family. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And you know Norm McDonald is Canadian, don't you? Yeah. No, yeah. He passed. He he's died. He passed away. No, he's gone now. Yeah, he yeah. passed away. He did a good, like, Norm Macdonald did impressions, like he did Burt Reynolds from Slavery yeah. Jeopardy. But why did why did Norm Macdonald do it like Burt Reynolds chewing gum? Like, I never seen Burt Reynolds chew gum. Oh, boy, I mean, that's just the way he did an impersonation, you know? And uh, there was Will Ferrell that did Alex Trebek. He did yeah. a good Alex Trebek. Yeah. And there was like that guy that did uh, did uh, Sean Connery. I slept with your mother last night, Alex. <laughs> I don't remember seeing what was that. His name I seen that did that the that impression. What was his name that did the impression of uh, Sean Connery? Yeah. Also What's that? Oh, uh, Daryl Hammond. Daryl Hammond did it. Yeah, yeah. He did a good impression of Bill Clinton. Yeah. Turd Ferguson. Yeah, Turd Ferguson. I did not. He's very funny. I liked his yeah. talk show. Yeah. Yeah, his show was uh, good. Like, there's... If you got to make fun of a politician, you got to get the voice right. Like Bill Clinton, no. he had that like soft. Yeah, but well, sometimes it's tough to treat people. Sexual yeah. relations yeah. with that woman, yeah. Miss Lewinsky. <laughs> Even Dana Carvey did a good impression of George W. H. W. Bush, the father, yeah. and and it was a. Uh, Will Ferrell that did George W. Bush, wasn't it? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. It was Will Ferrell that did the impression of the son, George W. Oh, Bush. yeah, George W. Bush, yeah. And Dana Carvey did the father, George H. W. Bush. Well, 
read my lamps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, stay in the corners. <laughs> then a Carvey, I miss him. Like, he's funny. What happened to him? I think he's doing his own thing nowadays. And I think, or I think he just retired. Yeah. Him and Robin Williams were my favorite impersonators. And Dana Carvey's the one that did the church lady. Well, yeah, that's church special. Lady. Yeah. And that's special. You know who you know who you are? You're a sinner. <laughs> <laughs> and you know who else is a sinner? Satan. <laughs> <laughs> and Dana Carvey was also a uh, Garth from uh, Wayne's World. Party on Wayne. Party on Garth. <laughs> Mike My son Myers. just recently. Sorry. Mike Myers and Dana Carvey were a good duo. Yeah, they were. Yeah. So your son recently what? I uh, started seeing the Wayne Wayne's World movie. Really? Yeah. It took him that long? <laughs> I'm doing well, he's just a teenager. He's not. What did you think of him? He liked it. I don't think it was as big of a deal as it was to me when I was, when it came out when I was younger, but he liked it. He's also been watching Monty Python and the Holy Grail with me, which is so cute. Your son likes Monty Python? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, he started making it. before Saturday Night Live. It was Monty Python's Flying Circus. Yeah. That one. I don't know that he likes the British comedy like the series, but he likes the Holy Grail, the movie. I'm not sure if he Does would. He like, has he ever seen Life of Brian? No, but I've heard that somebody said that that's their favorite movie of the of the movies they did. Jason, are you a Monty Python person? Yes. Do you guys recommend Life of Brian? Yeah, Life of Brian. I'll have to see what it's rated. My son tricked me into watching the interview with him. It turned out to be rated R. I didn't know that. He never told oh, me. Oh, Life of Brian's rated R. Life of Brian's rated R. Yeah. He I said, mean, I can tell you I can tell you the ratings of these movies if you want. I mean, there's some stuff that was PG rated. Like Holy Grail's PG rated. But I mean, that's back. They showed a lot more stuff in, the, in that movie. But like uh, Meaning of Life with R. Uh... Life of Brian was rated R. Like they had a couple like Live of the Hollywood Bowl was rated R, you know. If I want to know like why it was rated that besides, you know, the little disclaimer thing where it describes yeah. what it's rated for, I like to go to which I don't know that they didn't have the interview on it, but the Catholic Bishops yeah. movie review. Yeah. yeah. They have a they have a way of they describe movies and why it's yeah. rated a certain way yeah. and it helps me or has helped me in the past as a parent. Two yeah. of my kids are old enough. They don't need my permission on what they view. Yeah. Um, and then my youngest one said the interview wasn't on their website. So, wow. but they, oh. they do a really good job, like describing, yeah. like they may say it has some violence, but it's not gratuitous yeah. or they have something in it, but it advances the plot of the movie and it's not that bad. Or there's been a few movies they designated as morally offensive. I think like Dogma. Oh, really? Yeah, they really? didn't like Dogma. They don't like Passion of the Christ. There was a few. They were not like. They weren't like Life of Brian either. They won't. You know, <laughs> they won't. But I mean, it's like a spoof I'm of. Uh, go look and see. Yeah, it's like a thing about religion, and Brian was like the guy that was grew up like next to Christ, uh, Jesus or something like that. And then people start falling like they followed Jesus. It's like a religious comedy, I guess. I th- I don't think they liked that one either. They used to protest okay. that movie. Back in the 79. It's really funny though. <laughs> but some of that Monty Python stuff you gotta be careful of, you know. Some of it's R rated, some of it's PG rated, but I mean they used to get away with some of the stuff, you know. But like Life of Brian and Me of Life was both rated R. And like the the two concert movies like uh, oh, the 
Live at the Hollywood Bowl and also the other ones, Radar. There's some like like big like that's well, okay. It's okay, buddy. They did um, list it as oh morally offensive. It says really that it did. mocks everything that's uh, sacred to Christian and Jewish religious tradition. Yeah. Well they okay, well I'll tell you one thing. There was a scene where like uh oh this is pilot tap was good. That was the R rated one just for cursing and stuff. There was a scene in on uh on uh, Life of Brian, you know the scene where like Jesus is carrying the cross and stuff like that through the street in the what? Bible and stuff. Remember uh, the, the scene in Life of Brian? Remember this? There was like, uh, you remember I like haven't, the, I what, haven't seen the movie. Oh, I mean, there was like, um, I think something like Jesus had to carry his cross and stuff that was really heavy and stuff. Remember in the Bible and stuff? Oh, in the Bible, yes. And through the streets, and then uh, the one guy came and said, "Oh." Let me please carry this for you so it, it could lessen your burden. So he started doing it, and then Jesus ran away. Oh, in the movie? Yeah, he ran away. Oh. I thought it was funny, that's all. It may be funny, but it may be disrespectful to the Yeah, I know. Christians or Christianity. Well, yeah. I mean, by me, it was meant to be a joke. Or like, when the towards the end, when they're, uh, they're all on the being crucified, they were saying, always look on the bright side of the life. I've seen that. that scene where they're whistling yeah. while they're being crucified. Yeah, yeah. That's in the movie. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. It, it's a good movie, but I mean, a lot... I mean, it, it's offensive to some people, but I mean, they won't really make it fun of that. I mean, they're just making fun of, like, um, how people would blindly follow other people. You know what I mean? It's like... It had, like, more subtext to it than just making fun of, like, religious stuff. Right. You know? Yeah, they may not be being fair to yeah. it, but... But that is something to get a bad rating with them would be to be yeah the stigma now, of the movie. I'm not sure if that one let me go look it up and see if that was no now what what rating is what what group is this you're talking about? Um United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. Oh, okay. They have a so, Catholic News Service Media Review Office and they review movies. Okay. I mean a lot of that stuff. Uh could they I mean I guess I didn't know all I knew about Life of Brian. I didn't know about it. It was just I remember there was an ad. I mean, by this back when the days when you used to have like the ads in the newspaper for movies and stuff. It was like the Mill Creek Three that said Life of Brian. I know they played like a couple months. There must have been a big hit. I just remember Life of Brian and I saw some thing about it and they said like uh people were protesting the movie. I don't know if it was an eerie or not, but I heard it was like very controversial at the time. You know. And sometimes controversial movies uh, make a lot of money. Sometimes they don't. Like yeah. that was at the Last Temptation of Christ. I don't think that was a flop to the box office, but that was very controversial. Oh, that's the one I was thinking of. Not Passion of the Christ. It was yeah. the Temptation of Christ. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big deal at yeah. my church when it came out. Well, that was the one. Uh, I, I'll never forget. Uh, they had the, like the Armed Forces Radio Network. I mean, well, they had Armed AFN TV, right? Armed Forces TV. And they have like uh, news, like for military news and stuff like that. And they said that's, uh, they won't be purchasing that movie. And the military buy, buys a lot of movies to show to theaters. They wouldn't buy that one. So that shows you, that shows you, it speaks a lot, you know? Yeah. It doesn't, yeah. If it's critical of religion, but it has redeeming value, then it's yeah. worth watching just to learn more. Yeah. But in that movie, I don't know that it has anything except. Yeah. Trying yeah. to disrespect God, yeah. which yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with showing it though, because I don't think people should be like the people that say you shouldn't draw Muhammad, and they'll like they they killed people at that um, yeah. news office for posting a cartoon or something. I think that's yeah. going to the extreme. Yeah. But oh yeah yeah I know I know about that too. Yeah, that was bad. I know. Um, what else was there that uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, well, the other stuff, I mean, like, I think the Patch of Christ is awfully, it's tough to watch. You know, I mean, I watched it one time. I don't think I ever watched it a second time, you know. I My, mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't watch. I don't like violence. Yeah. Oh, that's like, that's like super, super violence. Right. So to me, I, it's just gratuitous. Well, I'm surprised it didn't get, well, I'm sure it'd be an outrage it didn't get NC-17 for the violence instead of R-rated. You know, but I mean, that'd probably be like, People said you make R-rated, make it available to everybody or stuff, you know. 
I mean, the violence is really heavy in that. And then I know the our forces net, network wouldn't buy any NC seventeen rated movies, even though that rating. Well, that rating came about like what well, came about while I was still in the military too. You know, they weren't showing NC seventeen rated movies or any you know, X rated movies. It just be the regular. I didn't have NC seventeen till I was like in high school. What's that? When I was in high school. Yeah. That's when they switched over. I remember, like, because Cisco and they were trying to get, like, uh, because they had, like, the PG-13 rated movie, right? Yeah. And they were trying to get something like that for between R and X. Yeah, that's and what they, happened. It was that movie Stage Girls or something like that. Yeah, Showgirls, yeah. Showgirls, yeah, that was it. You have yeah. a good memory. Well, when that oh, came you. out, they were trying to make it where it wasn't, like, a triple X movie or something. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean... Well, I know the very first, the very first uh, NC-17 was was a few years before that was Henry and June, and I had a chance to watch that at the theater, but my friend and I were we were going to see the remake of Night of the Living Dead, and I said, and the guy said, "Well, do you want to see Henry and June?" And said, "No, we we're going to see the other one." In a way, I kind of wish I never seen the NC-17 rated movie in the theater. That would have been cool. That was the very first NC-17 movie with Henry and June, even though most people think it's Showgirls. But Showgirls was a few years later. Directed what? by the same guy who did Total Recall and uh, RoboCop. I heard Showgirls was a disappointment. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I've seen it a couple of times. It's okay. I mean, it did. It was a big flop. But I mean, it became a cult classic, though. A cult classic? What cult? I mean, a cult, I mean, like a movie becomes like real popular. They saw it like a cult classic, like Rocky Horror Picture Show or Pink Flamingos. It just becomes really popular for like all the wrong reasons and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, I thought you meant like it was. No, 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 no. Developed the following, or or just like a movie called The Monster Squad, that PG thirteen rated monster movie, or PG rated. I can't remember. It was a flop as a box out, but became a cult classic later on. People loving that movie, you know. Okay. Yeah. That's all. I don't remember that much about it. I just remember what a big deal it was that they made yeah. this special classification just so it yeah. could be released to theaters yeah. and wasn't like just an adult movie. But then the people that went and yeah. saw it saw it, said it was poor acting on that part of that lady that was from Saved by the Saved Bell. By Bell. Yeah. But I mean, I saw, I mean, I saw it eventually though. But, I mean, that was like, the, I mean, I guess eventually they, uh, Theaters want to show NC-17 rated movies either, you know? <laughs> oh, so it didn't even matter in the long run? Well, I mean, that was like, I think that's probably the first, that got the biggest release and probably the most notorious of those movies, you know, was that one. But, I mean, I don't know. I think the last movie, I, well, I mean, those shows NC-17 movies in the theater, though, but, I mean, a lot of times, like, they consider it to be the kiss of death to get NC-17 rating, you know? Oh, okay. Just like with an X-ray, because they used to threaten horror films with X-ray, they don't cut out some of the violent stuff. My son could um, talk to you for hours because he loves to talk about movies oh, and cool. the politics behind movies yeah. and yeah. how they get their ratings and how um yeah. some. I don't know if you know about this, but like there's politics in Hollywood, so producers will be given a certain rating, even though they yeah. don't deserve it, to yeah. make sure their movie doesn't get seen as much as someone else. Yeah. That's more favored or something. I don't know if that's accurate. Well, they, there was something called this movie has film has not yet been rated. How we can't tell me about the, about the rating system. Cause I mean, if they'll say they don't like a movie, they say changes need to be made, but they won't tell you what changes need to be made. You know, they'll oh, just they don't want to be seen as editing the movie. Yeah. And they'll, and they'll say, I would, like you submit a movie to them and then I'll, they'll give you a rating and stuff like that. Some of the ratings are bogus, you know? Yeah, that's what he says, and he has, like, these big, long, like, all the stuff you're saying, like, it sounds like him, like, he has, like, all this information. I mean, I'm sure you have much more than him. He's just a kid, yeah. but yeah. he has, like, all this information in his head about movies and stuff and the industry that's cool. itself. That's cool. I yeah. still like movies and stuff like that. Just the whole thing about going to the movie theater got ruined, you know, with COVID and stuff, you know. But I still like going to the theater. I think so. I think I got more picky as I became older and realized yeah. only some movies are worth seeing in the theater. Yeah. Um, like your guest was mentioning, Gordon, I think was mentioning like it can be a positive experience that's a bonding thing. But yeah. for me, 
and and not that that i mean i agree with him on that part to an extent yeah. but for me i wouldn't want to see a movie in a theater unless it was going to be so much wor more worth it to see it yeah. with surround sound and everything else than just yeah. to watch it at home from the comfort of my own home you know well the very last movie i saw was kind of a disappointment was the green knight is based off a short story read i read in english class it, it's it's an okay movie but i mean like it's it's lots of a lot of it's open to interpretation, so the, there's like some imagery that you might not get. And, they, and the guys describing it and stuff like that, they're trying to bring like a short story back to life. It was okay, but I think most people didn't like it because uh, it ends up being like incredibly anticlimactic. I don't want to give away any spoilers, so okay, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's I mean, I don't think a lot of people like the way it ends, it ends real quiet, and people like. Some people are like this movie sucks. They want to see people in the theater, though. But I, I think a lot of people have said that. That I mean, yeah, a lot of people like that movie. Yeah. As much as it costs nowadays for the tickets, and then if you get a snack or a drink or whatever, yeah. And then if several people go, by the time you spend that much money for a night out, yeah. like it, it kind of needs to be an experience, not just yeah. something that would be just as good on a TV set, even if it's a big TV set, you know. Oh, you could watch on TV set, you know. I mean, I haven't really seen anything that great. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, well, the one thing, the most exciting thing I think I saw, because, I mean, after, because John and I weren't going to movie theater until, I mean, I got both my shots, right? And then um, we went to theater a couple of times. We saw Black Widow, and then we saw Quiet Place Part 2, and the first, like, 45 minutes of that is really exciting, where, like, all the stuff's happening and stuff, and it gets back to, that was fun watching on the big screen. And then we saw the Green Knight, and that was the last time I went to the theater. Was that you know? the one with the mom and the kids? The Quiet Place one? Yeah, when he's, we have to be quiet, it's like these aliens are taking over and stuff. When you make a noise, the uh, aliens will get you. I think that's There's, an interesting plot. Yeah, John Krasinski from The Office. But I mean, the very first, the first like half hour shows them what happens before the movie starts. And then it gets, puts you right back to where they were at later on. But I mean, that's really exciting, though. Have you seen Pitch Black? I've told my kids they should watch that because it's interesting. Not that like it's a good it. movie, but it's an interesting plot. Yeah. That's R-rated, too. <laughs> See, I don't remember it being that bad when yeah. I watched it when I was a oh. young adult, though. Well, it might be okay. I don't know. I'm just saying I'm just saying that movies are just so you don't oh. get like, you know. Yeah, then they shouldn't watch it then. I don't yeah. know. Oh, sorry, kids. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw I never saw a sequel of the Chronic uh the Chronics of Rit Riddick or something like that. I never saw that one. I don't know I mean, what that's about. That was like a big budget sequel to Pitch Black called The Chronicles of Riddick or something like that. Oh, okay. It was like a more expanded, a uh, bigger budget version to focus on uh, the Van, uh, the the Vin Diesel character. I never saw that one. Though. I heard it's supposed to be good, and I think that one's PG thirteen. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't mean to be a sick of my but R-rated movies, but I usually pretty much know the ratings and stuff, you know? That's interesting that you remember all of them. Yeah. Well, I try to. Sometimes I don't. Because I remember, we went to see The Witch. John and I went to see The Witch, a movie that everybody hated, right? I liked The Witch. But I, I thought it was, it's a horror movie. I thought it was PG-13, and for whatever reason, it ended up being R-rated. So it's like, oh, they're getting away with a lot of stuff for a PG-13 rated movie, you know? But it was yeah. really R-rated, yeah. But it was R rated. But a lot of people didn't like I don't know if your kids a lot of people didn't like that movie. I like I don't like for them to watch horror movies. I believe no, no. demons into the house. I'd yeah, I mean that's that's a, yeah, that's a messed up one. Yeah, don't let them watch that one. The Monster Squad's okay. I think that's I mean, have you ever seen the Monster Squad? That's one I mentioned. No, I don't know what that is. I mean it's from the eighties, about like a bunch of kids that like uh Dracula, Frankenstein, the Wolfman come back. That one's okay. It's and then funny. they have the yeah, they have the Frankenstein monster. He says, Give me a break. It's pretty funny. Give me your what? Give me a break. Oh the Frankenstein monster said, give me a break <laughs> to the kids. I mean it's it's more like a, it's more family friendly. It's either PG or PG thirteen. So I mean they might like that one. That's more a family friendly one. A lot of people like that movie, The Monster Squad. You know, a flop when it first came out in the eighties. I like That's Young funny. Frankenstein. What is that? Oh, really? Young Frankenstein was awesome. That was a good one. That was yeah. a great one. Yeah. I, I love the guy that was in it when he was yeah. happy normal or whatever that cute. Yeah. Was. 
Abby Nor, yeah. Putting on roots. That was so funny. I think he passed away. I read something about he had like some tragic passing. I don't know how I got oh. subscribed to some tragic stories of Hollywood and every day it's a new depressing story, but Oh no. Well that was uh you mean the guy who played Frankenstein, Peter Boyle? I don't know his name, but he was a comedian and he had big yeah. eyes. For oh, that's reason. Marty Feldman. Marty Feldman, yeah. Marty Feldman passed away too. He was he played Igor in that movie. Yeah. And also the guy who played Frankenstein's monster, Peter Boyle, he passed away as well. He was on like Everyone Loves Raymond, you know. Oh, the older brother? Yeah, the one guy that was balding. Yeah. Oh, he died? Was, Why? Yeah, he, I don't know. I don't I can't remember. And Louis Gossett Jr. just passed away at age 82, I think. Everybody's remember dying. Louis yeah, I know. It's messed up. And then a guy that was in uh, M. Emmett Walsh was from Blade Runner. He passed away, too, sadly, you know. You remember him? I mean, have you seen? I'm sure if you've seen his face, you'll recognize him. He's been in a ton of movies. What's his name? M. Emmett Walsh. I don't know if you look up his name. I, I'm sure you'll recognize him from. I'm He's looking him a, up. Okay. M. M. Walsh. M. Emmett Walsh, like E. M. and then E. M. M. E. T. T. Walsh. He's a big character actor. Oh, okay. He, I've seen him. I don't remember in what. Yeah. Well, he's been a bunch of stuff. I mean, not maybe as much as he w used to be. Like, he was a Missing in Action, a Chuck Norris movie, and a whole bunch of other stuff. That Red Scorpion, the Dolph Lundgren movie. I've seen The Jerk. Yeah, The Jerk was good. He was in that, too. Now, the jerk was R-rated, but I don't know why it was R-rated for. Some movies, I don't know why they're R-rated. I don't remember it having anything that bad in it. That's what's so funny. No. I know. It was R-rated. I don't know why. Uh, maybe just borderline R-rated, you know. Because it wasn't anything that bad. I know Sam Raimi did the third Evil Dead movie, The Army of Darkness, and that wasn't that bad either. I think it was R-rated because there's like a scene where like, there's a giant, like, um, this well, there's a giant thing of blood shoots out of it. Aside from that, it wasn't that bad, you know. But it was, that movie's funny, though, with Bruce Campbell. That's more of a horror comedy. You ever see that? It was like, I'm badass and you're good ass. It had, like, lots of Three Stooges type jokes in it. I don't think so. Oh, Army of Darkness is a lot of fun. I liked it, though. You might like that one. It's not meant to be taken seriously, it's, it's meant as a joke and stuff. There's a little bit of violence and stuff in it, but not too horrible. But now we got our rating, too. The last movies I liked were like Step Brothers, Pineapple Express, uh, Burn After Reading, Idiocracy. I think those are in uh, Austin Powers. I think those are some of the last ones I ever saw. Okay, cool. Before I couldn't I, go out much anymore. Oh, I see. Well, I saw Step Brothers. I never saw... I started watching Idiocracy. I didn't see all that, and then it's very good. It's yeah, not. It it's said. it's funny, but it's a very good. Uh, like when it was made, I don't know how you feel about politics and stuff. But back when it was made, as every year that goes on, I I think of the movie and how it's coming true. Yeah. Oh yeah, the things devolving and stuff. Like going yeah. to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then the de evolution. That's the that's the Devo theory. That's what Devo is based on. The band Devo. Oh, did whip it. Remember the band that did whip it? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I can tell you a lot about trolling. The troll. Okay. I don't know that much about movies and stuff. Oh, that's okay. Well, you can tell me stuff about that then, if you want. Whatever you want to talk about. No, no, no. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just saying, oh, like, I. Okay. That's where most of my viewing. Time oh, has, really? gone, has been watching live streams and really? channels oh, okay. and stuff. I got you. No, it's always it's just nice having you up. No, I like talking to you about movies. I just feel disappointed. I feel I don't want you to be disappointed that I don't know most of anything you're saying. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> no, no, Diva was a band, a musical band. 
Remember okay. they had like the red hats on their heads for the energy domes? They say whip it. Whip it, whip it good. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay. Let yeah, me yeah. I'm sure you might remember them. D V O. D V O from O H I O. They're from Akron, Ohio, which yep. is where Cyrex is from. Yep, exactly. Oh yeah, I know the song Whip It. I can't get yeah. satisfaction. Yeah. They have a lot of really good name, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. I'm a big fan of them. I, I still like their stuff. I actually got sent one of those energy domes that they wear. It's pretty neat. You have the hat? Yeah. Pretty cool. That is cool. Do you yeah. wear it? I have. I mean, not right now. I mean, I have. I have one. I mean, I need something like. Oh, they got something like. Uh, I need something like it would hold it. Stay, I mean, it flips back and forth. I need like a holder. Yeah, you know, I hold. You know, like you see, like a, like um, we have a helmet or something that holds up uh, it in place so it doesn't move all over. Yeah, I need something like that. In there. Yeah, it looks like the hats <laughs> that they're wearing have a strap around the head. Yeah, no, I need something like that. Yeah, but it's still pretty cool though. That is cool. I don't think I ever saw them. I heard them, but I don't think I ever saw a video or anything. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty cool. I've seen a whole bunch of their videos because I'm a huge fan of theirs. You know? Yeah. Hmm. You're the... Yeah, this is fun. Thank you for being up here. Like you said, my my schedule is going to be different now. I go back to work, so. Yeah. Well, I will still try to catch you if I see you go live, Thank and you. I will uh, share you out if you want. Sure. I didn't share today's out. I don't really. I don't really know how to do that from the Streamyard thing, but oh, okay. If you want to share me, that's fine. I will. After I get down from here, I'll go onto my phone and share you out to my. Oh, cool! Thank you for whatever they're called, subscribers or cool. something. Awesome! I appreciate that. Thank you for having me up. You're welcome. Thanks for being there and being awesome. You know, and kind. You're welcome. I had a good time. Oh, I'm glad you did. Thank you very much. It was nice meeting Gordon and the Black Eagle. Oh, okay, Black I'm gonna... Sorry. What's that? Yeah, they were they're really good people. And Black Eagle, it was cool. The Black Eagle's reception was really good because sometimes her reception is really bad, but her reception was really good this time. So I was very happy about that too. Is it because she's up in Maine? Yeah. But sometimes her reception is really terrible. But no, she was great. She did great. Her reception was fantastic this time. Yeah, she is such a peaceful personality. Yeah, she is. She's I like good. talking to her. Yeah, she's awesome. I've known her for a while through Pink Lady Luck. She's on her last time. Oh, time. I remember that lady. I don't remember yeah. anything about her, but I remember hearing about her. Yeah. And there was some drama going on back then. It was like years ago, but, though. Yeah, being there and yeah, having. Yes, control. that's right. Being there and Pink Lady Luck were fighting, yeah. right? Yeah, well, yeah, because I guess like she gave, uh, she lent, uh, gave Pink Lady Luck some money and stuff. Like that, along with um, near enough. I think they kept it though. I don't know how it was a lot of money though. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that they wouldn't yeah. give money back to her. Yeah. Oh, but whatever. I don't want to get involved in their drama. Yeah, so yeah. What they're gonna do. But that's what happened though. That's what it was. And yeah. It's a shame. I did a rest in peace video for being there too. She was that's on one of my live streams. I wish I would have kept some of the live streams that. She was on there, but I had to. I went through a bunch of stuff and deleted a bunch of stuff. I should have kept them though. Why did you delete it? Oh, because I felt like I had too much. I think I might have had stuff with um, because back in the time, Howard Cat was telling me like show some of George's videos, so I did. And then I think like um, when they had like finally came with that match match party content on YouTube and stuff, it's he could find out what channel were doing his videos and then. I think he struck me on something a long time ago. So I took down anything that had any of his stuff on it. I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. It's okay. But I mean, I still, I mean, I still remember anyway. I don't always have to be. Uh, yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, yeah. I remember, I remember you. her. She was yeah. very funny and cute. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you. You're you my do life. Me? I yeah, had a yeah. good time on Richard's show. Uh, I'm and glad. Dave Darren too. Dave Darren's such a jerk. Oh, I know. I had a thing like 
I mean, I never really, the only interaction I had with him was, like I said, uh, uh, Richard uh, uh, Groypers a lot. He said, and then he got mad. He said, Richard Groypain and stuff like that. He banned me on there. But You're that's all I think I said. Yeah. You said he's, he's a lot, like to deal with? No, no, no. He said Richard Groypain. Then he banned me for mentioning his name on the on his podcast. Yeah. I, I don't even know the guy. Me. He's such a sensitive little snowflake. He can't stand any criticism or yeah. questions <laughs> or anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if his if his show is a success yet, or if he's still running it. I don't know. Stuff on YouTube didn't do that well. I I I don't I don't really don't know the guy. I mean, I don't even know where to find his podcast or anything like that. At you know, I don't I even mean, know. Did like, he have a podcast? He was just talking about it. Well, I mean, live streams or whatever it was, you know, or radio. Was he on the radio or or like a radio type show? Or he he wanted to have musicians come on, but. They yeah. they wouldn't come on, and he didn't want to pay them. He wanted them to pay him to appear on his show. Well, I mean, he I think he has a tendency to make people mad, I guess, or some or like he likes fighting with people, I guess. You know, he oh, just wow. he thinks he's better than everybody. Yeah. I see him on X, so I'm guessing maybe yeah. I don't know if he left YouTube, but uh, I see a bunch of his. Have. I see a bunch of his posts on uh, X now. Oh, okay. oh, what did he say? Just negative stuff or. Just Dave Darren at Dave Darren on X, oh, and then okay. it's just it looks like oh. the covers of some of his shows. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. I don't know if he had episodes on there. I can't see it. Coming soon in April or May. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go see when he posted that. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna let me see it if I don't sign in. Okay. Okay, I have to sign in, so I can't see it, unfortunately. But well, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, like, he just seems like I don't know. He likes to argue with everybody and stuff, or I don't know. It's just weird. It's yeah. weird to me, anyways. You know. Yeah, and he would always act like he's approachable, and you could talk yeah. to him, and then yeah. he would block everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. It's crazy. Okay, well, I'm going to drop down. Thank you for having me up. I need to take my medicine, but I enjoy okay. talking to you. Oh, oh you are. a new person in here. Hi, Keys. How you doing, buddy? Title, yeah, title. Morning, Monday morning live with Carrie. I want to switch to Carrie Bean thing when I, when I go out with Carrie. Oh, you changed the title. That's cute. Yeah. Well, you want to do a Monday morning live with, is Monday morning live with Carrie Bean, Black Eagle, and Gordon Plus. I ranked the RoboCop movies. Do I keep the carry? I can take Bean, Bean off if you want. Uh, you can put Bridges if you want. Most people probably remember me by that name, but there's a lot of haters. Hey, I have okay. a lot of haters. I can't promise you that if you post that I'm here that you won't get people who hate well, me growing up. Because <laughs> I uh, do have some. Yeah. I, I can't imagine anyone hating you. you. I can't huh? imagine anything, anyone. I can't imagine anyone hating you though. Oh, they do. They do. Really? Wow. Yes. I think Very you're nice. So. I think you're nice. Thank you. I get along with a lot of people, but yeah. the people that hate me hate me super hard. Wow. Super hard. That's yeah. bad. That's okay. bad. It's not good. All right. Thank you for having me. Bye. You're welcome. Bye, hon. Yeah. All right. I think I might uh, wrap things up and maybe make a little something to eat or get some, a little, take a nap, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Title. Yeah, the title. Um. Yeah. I want to wrap things up. I'll go three thirty. Thirty, I guess. You know. Oh man. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting a little sleepy. Like I said, things are gonna go change a little bit. You know. And uh, be back to be back to the way they used to be. I guess you know. Kind of got used to this, but I mean, you know, I can't. I gotta go back to work. You know, I can't really mess with her like that, you know. But I mean, I'll go. Oh, later. Oh, you want to come up for two minutes, keys? You can. I mean, I'm. I don't. I'm not gonna be on much longer, but later, skate it. Yeah, later, skate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Um, I'll wrap it up then. 
I want to thank my wonderful guest, Carrie Bean, Black Eagle, who had really good reception this time, which was great, and Gordon. Plus, Ranga, the Robocop movies were great. Um, yeah, I hope you all had a nice time. Like I said, things might be changing some. Might not see me as much on lives. But, I mean, you know, it all depends. So, I hope you everyone had a good time. Everybody, for next time, everybody, please take care. My legion. Okay, here we go. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night.